uh, he's he's good. You know who else is good? Who? The champ, Free Draymond Green. Oh my God! This man Yo. pulls up. This man pulled up like like Batman. Because <laughs> I don't know what Batman said. Like Batman catching you jaywalking. He just comes down with the little glider, just like snatches you up. That's what that was. I'm like, when I saw Rudy Gobert like getting dragged back, because it was like a stream of like just like just like chaos. And that's why oh, I was blue. Out everybody. That's why with Draymond. Oh my God. <laughs> Sacre bleu, Draymond Green. Hey, listen, you what's, the, COVID. Hey, hey, hey. What, what's the thing that uh, Dexter used to say when he was when he learned French, but he just learned those like three words? <laughs> I thought it was Sacre bleu. It wasn't that. No, no, no. It was like uh, something. It, hold on, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, I that's not somebody, it. Like, that's, not somebody <laughs> said, that's all Draymond Green. I mean, not Draymond Green. That's all that um, they think Rudy Gobert be saying. Yo, man, yo, listen, man, you, you, you still the outbreak monkey. You know what I'm saying? We ain't forgot about that. And Draymond been waiting to get you. And, like, hey, man, listen, don't grab my partner. You know what I mean? Like, don't touch the game. You know what I'm saying? Yo, free to wave. Always, man. Yo, and shout out, yo, listen, shout out to Wrestling Bios. They gave a boy a uh, follow. You know what I'm saying? One of my favorite follows on, uh, on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They talk about chin locks. And my man gave him a Davy Boy chin lock. Yeah. All day, yeah, man. Look yeah, man. Grim sitting there, man. Just get in here and say something. Hold your head. Say hold something hold your head. Up. Yo, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Hold your head up, Rudy Gobert. I'm yeah, late do for the Maj. I'm yeah. let do for the Maj. Yeah, man. <laughs> they don't, don't quit do twice. this little thing with their hand. That they don't do the little thing with their hand. That's that's Italian stuff. Should I hit the intro? Yeah, man. Shout out to them quitters. <laughs> Christian Rock. She ain't, he, he, yo, yo, Draymond oh, okay. definitely Christian Rock with right. basketball. Hello, y'all. Yo, I hold on, hold on. I've never seen like I give it to I give it to Draymond. I've never seen Draymond pull up at no concert and be like, oh yeah, I'm singing a song on right here, and then punching a backup singer, or a backup band. Like Draymond, Draymond is foul, but he knows when the, he knows when to pull it back. But uh, yeah, man. yeah. At least he chose out to do with the most money. You know what I mean? So they start doing that. It's a vibe all the time. When you're here with episode 281, yes, I read the show notes this week. Uh, episode 281, I am him. He is I, the champ, your champ, Jizzle, the Waco kid, all the way over there from Virginia. We ain't nothing to do but cook. Yes, sir. How you doing, big dog? Yo, I'm good. I'm good. I, I'm good, man. It's been a... It's been a blessed week. I've had I had my daily intake for water. Uh, oh, I played with my daughter before I got on here. There I had a go. good conversation with my wife. It's been I, I, I'm where I need to be mentally right now. So yeah, man. We, look, and we're gonna talk about some bullshit. And I know I'm gonna start yelling. So I know it's all gonna be thrown out the window in a little bit. But you know, I'm good right now in this little pocket in time right now. Yeah, I'm saying Thanksgiving's next week, so you know it was it gets a little hectic <laughs> coming around this time of year. Uh, uh Grand Bone is here. He just not here, but he's here, y'all. I promise y'all. Y'all just don't yeah. He's know. in the uh, what was it? What is the thing called? The penalty box. Penalty yeah. box. He'll be he'll that be out in ninety seconds. Don't worry about it. Listen, we, we go play that Marshall Reborn card, and then Marshall Reborn the Red Ranger, and then it's really gonna be lit. But for now, <laughs> hey, how you doing? We're here to talk about wrestling, the greatest wrestling podcast of all time, whether you like it or not. Yo. Should and, we get into uh, yeah. should we get into the small package news? Yes. Champ says so. Free Draymond. The champ says so? Yeah, man. Listen, I'm gonna be extra, yeah, I'm gonna be extra, extra ignorant. 
<laughs> without the reins. Without the he reins, man. He'll without be without the fade mask. Come on, man. You the you the champ. You can do what you want. Even oh, even man. if Graham was here, you could do whatever you want, man. Oh, man. <laughs> and he ain't gonna do nothing about it. No, man. He look, no, he looked like close to me and shit. He could be like, "Yo, nigga." I'm like, "Come on, man. I was just playing." <laughs> like, you know how to get sometimes. I'll be like champion and shit. Yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, man. that's why he my nigga. All right, man. I know we talked about it last week, but strikes over. <laughs> Guess what the that Rock, means, yo. John Cena, back in Hollywood. It's like it's not even it's not even a question. Uh, I think uh, this week Cody Rhodes had said something like, "Okay, well, The Rock's not taking my spot at WrestleMania." He was like, "He could be involved in that, but he's not gonna take my spot." And I thought that was pretty. I thought that was pretty funny, of Cody. Cody was talk, doing a little back talking, but like, yo, the strike ended, and uh, he knows. Last week, right after that, like right on the heels of that, we got some like some news that a movie featuring John Cena had been canceled. Uh, Acme, well, no, 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 Coyote versus Acme was uh, was being pulled by Warner Brothers by. Uh, yeah, my Warner Brothers Discovery. They had pulled it, and they were like, "You know what? We're not gonna release the movie. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do like a little. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make it a tax write off. We're not gonna release the movie, and it'll never see the light of day." <laughs> and so that, that got a lot of like, yeah, like all right, all right, all right. okay, 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 okay. You got me at Looney yeah. Tunes, my nigga. <laughs> like Looney Tunes, you can't take that from us. Yeah. We got John Cena for that shit. So, like John Cena's supposed to be in this movie. Yeah, so apparently the movie, like, the, people were saying, like, there's no reason for them to pull back the movie because the movie was, it tested well with audiences. Uh, James Gunn said it was one of the best, like, live action animation movies that he had ever, like, seen before. He even said that it was, like, you know, it was on the same line as, like, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? And if you whoa, know that, whoa, that's whoa. heavy praise. Yo, that's, that's my like favorite movie heavy of all time. praise. Yeah, it's my favorite movie of all time, first off. And like you saying that, then I need to see this. But I know, yeah, I know man, it got like, like, everybody, know, everybody knows the beat between <laughs> between Acme and, and, and the Wiley Coyote. Like, like he knows. Like if anybody has a beef with it, uh, any company other than Mace with Bad Boy until he got his shit, like it's Acme and uh, Wiley Coyote. So, and then you sprinkle in some John Cena in that. Like, yeah, listen. Take all my bread. So you got it. Like, that's it. End it now. So uh, the movie, apparently, the premise of the movie is about, like, Wiley Coyote is fed up with Acme. He is, like, he's suing them because every time he puts out a product, I mean, he, they, every time they put out a product and he buys it, try to, like, to get the Roadrunner, it never ends up working. It ends up hurting him. So he's suing them. Apparently, they said the movie was really, really, really good. And what's going on, bro? Uh, gang. Did you hear all that? Stuff that we, did, did, did you hear the other stuff that I, I said earlier about CJ? Because I was joking about that. I wasn't. I wasn't serious at all. Um, they said yeah, the, uh, the free guys, Draymond Green part. You know what I'm saying? Free to wave. You're free to wave in the wave. <laughs> oh, sounds it back. Nigga, I'm back, nigga. How about yeah, that? Yeah, free Graham. Nah, How about nah, that? Nah, nah. You, you're y'all don't, y'all don't, you know what? You know what? Graham you know free. what? You know what? I'm just, I, you know, I, I just feel like, I feel like I got to restore the feeling. You feel me? I feel like the energy ain't up enough. Y'all niggas ain't excited to be here. You feel me? Oh, y'all niggas ain't walk, excited right? to run it up. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nigga, I ain't a Bulbasaur. Nigga, what's up with you? <laughs> Yo, those are hard to hey. get wild, dog. <laughs> And there'll be caterpillars out here, big homie. Like nigga, look at another one. Like yo, get yeah, out man. here. This this is this is this is a uh, crazy times that we we're living in. I hope everybody's doing well. Salute to y'all if y'all in the chat. We appreciate y'all. You know, what I'm saying all the frenemies uh, slide through, and fucking with it. Uh, hit the like button if you haven't already. Like and subscribe, all that shit. At the enemies P three everywhere. Like air, you know, talking about. Uh, yeah, I'm Graham. Bell. I'm back. I'm here. It is what it is. Yeah, hit the notif- Smash that notifications bell so you know every time we go live. Yeah, make Whatever sure the, make sure your bell has, has has the stuff around it. What's what's that shit the yeah. little bitches be doing on TikTok that they stole from Cuz? Uh, this shit. Uh, 
Bills. Like enemies, nigga. Nigga. Uh, nigga. Nigga. Let's talk. And I'm, nigga, because I'm back. We back, Seven. nigga. Three nigga, I'm back, listen, nigga. It's complete. <laughs> nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. But yeah, like y'all was saying, though, uh, yeah, Coyote versus Acme. Uh, they try to they try to slide up out of that. They try to get up out of that little, you know what I'm saying? They try to juke up out of there and not drop the movie. For they wanted to million save dollar 30 tax million dollars. Off. Exactly. You feel me? They wanted to save 30 yeah, and, and, for me, which is cool. Which is cool. And not for and not for nothing. This isn't the first time they've done that. I don't know if y'all remember, like it was like three movies they did that. I think they did that yeah, with Batgirl, um, movie, right? Batgirl the yeah. Batgirl and um it was a um a sequel to the movie Scoob. They were doing like a Christmas movie. And these were all completed movies. They were already yeah. edited, they already had the score on them, they already like had everything set ready to go. Warner Brothers was like, nah, we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna like do a tax write-off. So they got like a lot of backlash during like last week about it. So they finally said, you know what? Yeah. We'll let the creators of the movie, we'll let them shop it around to different streaming services and different studios. Who want to pick the movie up and drop it? And uh, I think they said that Amazon Prime and Netflix are and like and the, Apple the, TV you know, the two. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're gonna like Apple they're TV like the three stuff. in the forefront that are probably going to get the rights to this movie. And um, they're and like after that, like they don't realize that they've done like a bunch of like good press for this movie by saying like, okay, we don't want to release it or whatever, and they're not going to be able to cash in on that. I would have just kept the shit. But uh, <laughs> they ended up getting their, uh, what, do, what do you call it? What, do you, what is the word for? Comeuppance? What is, what is it? When, uh, there you go. I like that. Yeah, they ended up getting that because apparently <laughs> after the news broke of them like shelving the movie, they said several filmmakers instructed their reps to cancel meetings they had on the books at Warner Brothers, according to the Hollywood Reporter. So, Uh-oh. you know. Black Dynamite 2 on the way. That's what that means. <laughs> whoa, uh, hey, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Speaking of Black Dynamite 2 on the way, blah, blah, blah. did y'all see the trailer for the, uh, what was it, the, the American Society of Magical Negroes? What? What is, what, Nigga. What, what, excuse me? Nigga. Yo, we got magic? The American Society what is of Magical Negroes. Oh, nigga, if we got powers, nigga, like that's got to be what's, that's got to be a bro, uh, yeah, one of them little niggas. Uh, the, white, I for, I for, a dude that was a uh, little light skinned cuz that was in dope and uh, uh, and uh, and the get in the get down. Oh, little and David, David Allen Greer. Yo, you feel me? yo, David Allen Greer, little Richie's in it. Hey right. man, David Allen, it's it's some shit. Yeah, the the American Society of uh, Magical Negroes. I'm like, yeah, it come out it come out in like March. It's an all black cast. It's an all black. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, cool, 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 cool. You feel me? Okay, so they in the chat oh, talking God. about it. You feel me? Okay, boom. MCG said, uh, uh, I saw it. I'm there opening night. You feel me? Uh, Kudrow said it's a satir- uh, satirical series, from what I heard. Yeah, Hell, it was whatever. cool. Yo, yo, black like, people with magic is is some of the greatest shit in yo history. The, there was a, there was like a show like in the nineties that like featuring like Martin Lawrence. I think um, it was like an all black cast. It was supposed to be yeah, like yo, if they okay. were if they had like um, it was supposed to be like a black sitcom. Like if they had like um, magical powers and stuff like that. Like they were wizards and witches and stuff like that. And this predates Harry Potter and everything like that. It was like a young Martin Lawrence in the show and everything like that. And then like I think they end up doing like maybe five or six episodes or they might have just done a trailer but the show wasn't picked up for another season i saw it and i was like man mm. we were robbed i'm well, like everybody, thinking, everybody, everybody knows about that everybody knows that about is, up, up, uh, in a way. up up in yeah, a way that uh that project is called a little bit strange it's a sorcerer yeah. apprehensive about introducing his mortal fiance to his magical family yeah that's a big fact of mundo no in the up, up in a way part three with robert townsend Nah, yeah, that's, that's, that's some niggas in it. See, like R.I.P. Jet Jackson, he was the only superhero black dude that Nessa I knew. Bell Calloway, Myra oh, J. Doing? Martin, Michael Warren. Yeah, it's some cool, it's, it's some cool shit. Hey, man, but yeah, let's get into it, though. Uh, yeah, WBD, they 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 thought they, they thought they could pull a fast one, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, they couldn't. 
You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, they couldn't. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 them, uh, them, the production staff, they leaked the video, the behind the scenes and all that shit. It was like, nah, we put too much work in it. That shit look fire. That shit look like they put their foot in that shit. You feel me? So when Coyote versus Acme, you feel me, drop on Netflix, Amazon Prime, you feel me, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Fucks with it, you know what I'm talking about? We we gonna fuck with it, you feel me? It is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the beef for the champ. I don't give a fuck. Who you got the beef? The what what beef? Coyote. Acme or or Coyote? Yeah, nigga. Why would I get a Why what you feel me? Like exactly. You feel me? What you mean? You feel me? You gotta get fresh with the bash, dude. Hey, 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 blood. Hey, blood. I I don't know. Uh did this nigga just call me a sellout? He's called just sell out, but I had a I had a quick question I wanted to say before we moved on from this. You know, I know we talked mm-hmm. about this for a while, but uh, what do you do? You guys think uh, you guys think Space Jam is a good movie? Yes, the first, the first Space one? Jam. You, yeah, yes, first Space Jam. Did you, did you ever do ask? I, All right. Do I think it's a good movie? Yeah, absolutely do you think not. It's a good movie. It's, but, it's yeah. Thank you. Thank it's you for thank you for it's the greatest that. movie ever. <laughs> no, right. it, it's not. Have you ever seen Have you ever seen Looney Tunes back in action? Yes. I just want to say that that's a far better live action animated movie than Space Jam. Oh, and I, and I remember like because huh? Brendan Fraser is a much better actor than Michael Jordan. I remember when the second uh, Space Jam movie came out, people were like, "Man, that's Michael Jordan black. was so much better yeah. actor." Oh yeah, well Ben, no. we Ben don't, we, don't we, do that. Ben, who you don't would, do I'm, that. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm gonna do that a lot today. Yo, who you who you would shoot the last shot? Is Cino Man or Michael Jordan? All right, ben. Don't fucking do it. Yeah, all right, then. All right. Ben. That movie's hey, not even that like yo, the Space Jam movies are not good movies. No, just the like, second one on. with your goat in it wasn't good. Both <laughs> of them are not good. <laughs> that LeBron shit was crazy. <laughs> For real. What are you talking about, man? You don't even know. Like you had no feel. You don't know Bill Murray, big dog. Get up out of here, man. Your son don't even like you. They, you your real son. They introduced Kid Cudi. <laughs> in the Space Jam 2 movie. Damn, and man. this whole shit, as soon as they introduced Kid Cudi, done. Stupid. Horrible. <laughs> Basketball game. <laughs> now. With that said, let's go ahead and move on. You feel me? I'm talking about it is what it is. Hey, did the picture of the old girl come in? Let's talk about this real quick. You feel me? Because I'm going to get this smooth out the way. Tammy Sitch, a.k.a. FKA, Sunny, whatever you want to call her, she going to jail, jail. 25, 26 years maximum, whatever the fuck it is. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Y'all already know what it is. Uh, manslaughter charges she caught. You feel me? Dude, uh, 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 cuz was like 75 years about smacking you feel me and now he out of there that ain't cool you know what i'm talking about so at first she pleaded no uh at first she pleaded not guilty uh then she changed her plea to no contest she will be sentenced uh i believe just after thanksgiving i think the 27th or something like that you feel me so yeah whatever that is she up out of there damn near Guess who's going to jail tonight? Yeah, buddy. You feel me? Uh, look, sunny days. I, these are not sunny days. Yes, sunny days behind that behind that brick wall. Hey, man, but look at the bright side. Orange is the new black. Anyways, so uh, hey, yo, The Rock, The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has claimed that he was contacted by both the Democrats and the Republicans, both both parties. Uh, at the end of 2022 uh, to discuss the possibility of The Rock becoming or at least running for the role and the high state job of the president of the United, United States of America. Uh, this ain't no different than being the night manager at Burger King now. <laughs> like, you can get that shit. Was like, All you got to do is like, be born for America and not have no felonies and shit. Like, that shit ain't that hard. <laughs> it was like, yo, Rock, you want to get in this shit? Pull his birth certificate. Yeah, man, look, like, it's right here. He's like, oh, he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, so I believe Rock, it. I believe he, it. Listen, listen, listen. He says that he was contacted by both parties to, to, to you know, discuss these things. I don't believe this nigga. So, with that said, salute both to the parties. Rock. <laughs> you don't think the Republicans would want to holler at the Rock? Nigga, I'm just saying, I don't believe this nigga. I think wrestlers are liars. 
I think niggas are liars in general, and I think he's definitely like that. I like that. I, I like that. That is 100% <laughs> true. Y'all voting for this nigga? If he runs, y'all voting for this nigga? Y'all voting for this nigga? I voted for Joe Biden, bro. <laughs> 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 yeah, I voted for Joe Biden. 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 Clearly, I vote for anything. Yeah. Nigga, I voted for Gucci Mane, nigga. I voted for. I, clearly, clearly, I've been, I've been, I've been brainwashed by by society <laughs> saying that black people should just blindly vote yeah. Democrat. I'm for the, by the libertards, <laughs> by, the, by the by the liberal idiots. All right, man. What y'all want to do, dog? Let's get into it. Let's move the fuck on. I 20 minutes that. of small package news is fucking crazy. That will never happen again. You want to know why that will never happen again? Why? I will tell you in a little bit. Not right now. I don't want to tell y'all right now. I'll tell y'all. It's, in a we've, nah, I'm, it's yeah. not really a mystery, bro, because we've been talking about all types of shit lately. You feel me? So with that said, I'm going to say a lot of shit today, and I don't care how niggas feel about it. So oh, with that like said... That. Uh, what, what y'all want to do, man? Y'all want to get into AEW? Y'all want to get into Dynamite? Y'all want to get into yeah. Full Gear? Because Full Gear is this upcoming weekend, this Saturday, you feel me? They got, yeah. like, what, like, nine matches right now, you feel That's me? That's it? Huh? Tony, exactly, you feel me? But, hey, check this out. They got Rampage yeah, and Collision and ROH, you feel me, within the next two days. They doing, yeah, yeah, exactly. ROH is still airing, you feel me? They're going to air Rampage and Collision on Friday. Because full gear is on Saturday. That's smart. That's smart. Yeah, Why do you still right. need both of those shows on, on Friday? Because they're paying for it, dog. Right. <laughs> Listen, if you pay hey, for it, you know what? That's a damn good point. That's a damn good point. All right, cool. I'll back the fuck up. I'll shut the fuck up and let's get into it, man. AEW Dynamite, AEW Full Gear, Road to Full Gear. We on that bitch. The exit about mm, quarter mile away. You feel me? How y'all feel about it? You know what I'm talking about? Right. Hey, what, what, what Ben said? You feel me last month? I liked it. I liked it. Let's bring it back. What's your excitement level? What's your excitement level? Skill of one to ten. Uh, full gear. Yeah, talk to me, man. Talk Look. to me. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I like the source. Five mics. You feel me? Okay, so let's do one to five. You feel me? Actually, you know what? Fuck Dave Meltzer. One to ten. Let's do. Let's do ten. Let's one go. To 10. Dave, one to ten. <laughs> on a scale of on a scale of one to Draymond Green choking this dude, I give it a, a Draymond Green choking this dude because uh, listen, AEW never disappoint me when it comes to the um. To the to their pay per views, so that's the only thing. Like, yeah, man, all right. You're like, yo, at least I know you. At least I know the match is gonna be good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't need no story. Like, I don't need no nothing, dog. I don't need no reason to see to, to sit there and watch a beef. Like, oh shit, what they mad about? Oh well, <laughs> that's all I need to know. And I know they're gonna do that part. So as long as that part's good, you know what I'm saying keep it at nine, Tony, and then we're good. So I'm, I'm saying I put it by the uh, Draymond I'm saying Draymond Green chip lock. Uh, I, I put mine at a three. Three. Okay, so is it three out of five? Is it, is that a five? I feel like that's a halfway point. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't no, know we're doing a ten. You said one we're out doing of 10. ten. Yeah. So if, if you is it three out of five or what? Is, what is that out of? Out of okay, okay, out of 10, okay. Right? Talk to me. We'll do a ten. We'll do it a ten. I, I say seven out of ten. No, yeah, that's respectable. Okay. It's a lot going on. You know, this is the middle of the road uh, yeah. feeling for me. Um, I really do like some of the matches on the card, though. Uh, but some of this shit, dog. Like, all right, cool. Let me ask y'all before, because we, we're going to start with this match, right? But on Dynamite, they had this uh, like a guiding street fight. With the Don Callis family versus Paul White, Chris Jericho, uh, Kenny Omega, and Kota Ibushi. They did the little, we all walking in with our suits, shit. You feel me? All the, you know what I'm saying? Like, looking like a like fucking you Dollar Tree evolution. <laughs> <laughs> right under the Christmas tree. No. Like. I wanted so bad for the spot with Hobbs and Paul White to look impressive 
but that nigga just hella big and he just looked like a tumble. <laughs> so, so I was just like, he was, was a like, tumble tots. Hey, 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 Paul White, do a cartwheel, do a flip, nigga, do a flip, <laughs> big show. And nigga said, no. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, what the fuck ever, nigga. Anyways, nigga, this upcoming weekend, you feel me? If y'all gonna watch it, I'm watching. If y'all not gonna watch it, I ain't gonna watch it. Anyways, so the tag match that we talking about. Is gonna be the Golden Jets oh. versus the Young Bucks. Oh. Hey, yo, blood. Any match involving the greatest tag team to ever exist, I'm picking them. Period. <laughs> okay. Now, the Young Bucks won. The fatal the the four way tag match at Wrestle Dream, and the winners of that have the uh, number one contendership basically to the tag team titles, the AEW. They have that shot whenever they call it. That shot is on the line in this match. So if they lose, Omega and Jericho get to call their shot for the tag titles whenever they feel like it. I don't like you. Or you, especially when you hang out with him. Oh, y'all cool now? Oh, so y- oh, so y'all niggas cool? Okay, blood for sure. All right, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're gonna beat the shit out of you. Oh my, like, yo, evil young bucks. Yo, heel tag team young bucks is the greatest tag team wrestling that you can ask for. And I can't <laughs> wait. I'm picking them always. No, I, I, the thing I liked about this was they're they're clearly heels now, but they're trying to remain as baby faces. Like they they kicked uh was it uh, was it um, Commander and Pentagon? Uh, they kicked them both in the nuts. I think it was Nick who did that. Kicked them both in the nuts, and then right after they go and they just start hugging on the kids in the audience, signing autographs and everything like that. It's like okay, you know, we all know they're heels, but they just don't want to admit it yet. Yeah, you 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 you, you could have liked me anyway. Yeah, his autograph. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you like them guys, right? Yeah, yeah, come here, kid with the Pentagon shirt on. Yeah, let me sign, let me sign your shit. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Nick but, Jackson. Uh, why? Why? Why in the fuck is uh, Chris Jericho walking around in a suit? Well, they always walking around in suits. I don't you know why. He it's not two thousand. It ain't two thousand, bro. It ain't two thousand and eight. You're not John Wick. Take that shit off. But you know you, you Bruh, know you this is the Jericho it. era. I don't know if you know this, but Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I was Yo. I put that in I, I put that on the I put that on the docket to talk about too. I, you know, he, I don't know if you, you know, know that. He, he yeah, he did another trade, Mark Gordon, you know, Sean Rossap. Uh they called they called up Sean. They said, Hey, Chris Jericho down here at the trademark office. I'm, let me look over his shoulder real quick. He he he's trademarking uh, the the Jericho era. I'm sorry, bro. It took me a minute to read that because his handwriting's fucked up. But yeah, man, stop. Who's letting him back in the trademark office, man? It, it said like the tra- it, it looked Jericho eel. You know what I'm saying? I know what he was trying to write. He was saying his art so it looked that well. It's like yo, the trademark people got to be like yo, <laughs> yeah. like yo, yo, is that yo, is that the Fozzie dude again? Like yo, yeah. yo he <laughs> is. You know why Jericho be going so crazy at the trademark office? Because <laughs> when he was trying to get popping, he was like Pac. You remember that interview that Pac did with MTV? <laughs> he was like, "We are hungry. Please let us." We who? Who's gonna do? I'm kicking down the door. <laughs> Yo, uh, yo, shout out to Cujo. Cujo said, I viewed Paul and Jericho wearing suits as a call back to their Jericho show days. Okay, I got that, but they still look goofy as hell. I'm like, bro, that's why I said it's not 2008 no more, man. Yeah, yo, where's your tie at? Like, bro. You got a tie, get a gold chain. And it's not even like the suits they wore. Like Chris Jericho would wear these different kind of suits. They look, they look like they were trying to be John Wick. Honestly, you, you know, damn well they can't reach into any pocket and pull out anything and shoot something. Them jackets was tight. Hey, Amen. Niggas had to breathe out their nose wearing them jackets. 
That's yeah, right. man. Give me the. Uh, did we did we pick for that match? Because uh, if so, give me the Bucks. Oh yeah, let's pick. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Bucks too. Always greatest to ever live. Across the board, let's get it. All right, cool. Next match, we're gonna go with the TBS Championship. Who won this match? Uh, was it Red Velvet Sky Blue? I'm sorry, I was picking up a rental car. So, oh, 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 oh all right. Yeah. See, see. I'll tell you after we after we do the VR, yeah, the, 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 the who we are check over came here. through. <laughs> The the who we are check came oh, through and this man this man, man. pulling a, a a rental Ferrari okay all right well I got a, a Hellcat all, all black Hellcat this is charging <laughs> outside right now I don't think you guys even know that this is Tesla like Elon gave this to me and then they go here's thirty two dollars just to drive it too yo all right so first of all first of all Tony Khan booking Red Velvet versus Sky Blue in Ontario in the you know what I'm saying in the vicinity of Los Angeles. Where you know what I'm saying shit can get real real. Uh him booking red versus blue was was great. I, I Ugh, really enjoyed right that. Now. now, uh, uh but again, I gotta Sky ask. Thank Sky you. Blue. I appreciate y'all. You feel me? Yeah. Man, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Red Velvet is mm-hmm. I feel like she's you know, she's on her little Draymond not Draymond, I'm sorry. Draymond. Yeah, I'm free drop about that earlier. She uh, she on a little uh, uh, she on a little James Harden loser streak, man. If this Back, shit ends, down. if this shit ends with fucking uh, Julia Hart and Sky Blue like coming together and you feel me beating the shit out of Chris Statlander, like oh, this whole man. back and forth between you feel me, like she got the whole midnight blue shit going on with it, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm dark too. I like coffee and cigarettes. Ooh, you feel me? I sit under trees with all the golf kids. Uh, but yeah, so like I. I I'm gonna be upset. So hopefully, hopefully, Chris Statlander beat both of these bitches' ass, and I say bitches respectfully. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I, I'm going with Statlander, man. I'm going with Statlander, and actually, to be honest with you, I hope I'm wrong, and I hope Julia Hart wins. But I, ho- I, I, I'm going with Statlander. Yeah, I want Julia Hart to win. Uh, Damn, I think she's going. I'm picking Julia Hart. She been missed the niggas. Give me a. Oh. Uh... Yo, give me Chris Statlander. Yeah, She's not coming up off the belt. Not coming up off the belt for this shit. Come on, Julia. You're the ninth heart that I trust. Right above Josh Hart. Especially <laughs> in the corner with the parlay on the line. All right, let's get it, man. Uh, Orange Cassidy versus... Uh, actually, you know what? Fuck it. My bad. I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> let's do it. Right. MJF and whoever the fuck... Versus the guns. <laughs> Pooh Pow surprise. Probably, yeah, man. It's probably gonna be Samoa Joe. You think so? Yeah, because that's yeah, what they've been leaning to. Because Samoa mean? Joe was like, "Hey, bro, like I, I want, I want a title match, but you also oh. need help." Oh. No, mm. so I'm picking. We'll do that next. Time. I'm picking. Okay, I'm picking, so I'm picking the the the, the uh, I'm, I'm, I'm picking the Messiah backbreakers. It's gonna come help him to prove to Adam. And then they're gonna uh, defend the. I'm picking MJF and my man Roddy Backbreaker. That's oh. what, bro. That's what I was gonna say. But I was gonna say that, bro. I, I think his partner should be Roger Strong. <laughs> no, right? <laughs> you know it just that? makes sense, bro. We get closer to the devil reveal. You feel me? Like you know what they like? Uh, Roger Strong was just talking about. Oh, it's time for me to remind niggas who the fuck I am. He didn't say niggas, but you feel me? Like I say niggas. So, yeah, he was, uh, yeah, he was exactly. You feel me? So he was respectful. It's <laughs> <He was> respectful. <laughs> yeah, don't say that. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> sorry, man. But yeah, um, I think his partner should be Roderick Strong. I think they should win, and I think they should fake be friends. Uh, I think they should fake mend this relationship or this heat between them as we get closer and closer to the reveal of the devil. They should be friends. Yo, he might have said that shit. Yo, they should be friends. Like, they should be friends and then like make Adam especially this injury shit. Like that shit yeah. could like give him a long time to do the same shit that they were doing with Adam Cole. If they the, like involved the Kingdom dudes and then you know what I'm saying, running around doing stuff. Like that next strong shit gotta go though. Like I don't know about that. I'm just like, yo, hash that next strong. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Chill. Yeah. Hey. Yo, y'all ever watch thick ass Daphne? Yes. She's next strong. 
Yo, she is a. Yo, she is definitely a good writer. I told you, bro. I'm yo, finna she, say she might, hella she shit tonight. Bros. She might be the Derrick Rose. <laughs> All right. Listen, bro. She's like RG3's like rookie year. Like, <laughs> like all the time, though. Yo, dickheads. Yo, come on the show. Hey, man, and I don't like short hair girls. No, not really. But if I do, she got to look like the old Halle Berry or the broke Tony Braxton, the first little Kim. But I still take hood rats and work with them. I'm, all right, man, let's get it. <laughs> Shut up. Well, come on the show. You're a legend. Think that's Daphne? Come on the show. Oh, come on the shit. show. Talk to you. Yo, come on the show. Yo, 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 she, yo, she, yo, when we did when we did the little bracket, you know what I'm saying? She was Duke in my, in my bracket. And I was like, yo, she, right, yo, she, so, she might with the whole thing, but yeah. So regardless, I'm going with MJF and question mark. Shout out to question mark. Yeah, question marks have a thousand percent batting average. And like any yeah. day of you. So I'm picking that too. Yeah, give me uh give me MJF and vacant. Yeah, we don't trust you guns. <laughs> For sure. Salute to vacant. <laughs> we trust you guns. Salute to vacant. Trust question mark. We, we trust the unknown more than the guns. Guns up. Nah, blood fuck out of here. That shit is so like I'm like I like I like the little interest and everything like that, and it growing on me. But that guns up shit is so forgettable to me because whenever they be like, "Yo, if you not down with that, we got two words for you." I be I be forgetting every time. I'm like, what do these niggas be saying after that? Because I know they're not saying suck it. And then I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, the guns up shit. I'm like, I'm uh, that shit is really forgettable to me. I'm sorry. Yo, where's Juice right. Robinson? The yelling people. That's funny. Salute to Juice yelling at people. You know what's funny about you know, that shit being really forgotten? You know the Forgotten Sons are getting back together. Not the Forgotten Sons like Jackson Riker and shit. He's a cop now. Nigga bit a cop. Oh, but, you don't uh, say. Oh, my God. Steve, Steve Macklin. And, He's a what? Uh, Steve Macklin and Westland Blake uh, are, are, uh, are getting back together as a POS this week. He's a be in, uh, what? In San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's a cop. <laughs> he's a cop. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's a cop. They, let they, yeah, they, they really let this man be a cop? What do you mean they let him be a cop? He has all the qualifications, the criteria. He has the, the mindset. Like, yeah, he, got a, he knows you know, he got an NIL deal to be a cop. You know what I'm saying? He, he got that Caleb Williams. They, right. they drafted him to be a cop? Oh, yeah. That's funny. You <laughs> First round. Oh, yeah, but you listen. Like, you want what? You know what I'm saying? Dude. High, you know, yo. five-star recruit cop. I apologize, y'all. I apologize. Yo. yo. Shout out to the nation. I know, like, yeah, it's old news, but this is the first I'm hearing of it, man. Like, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. They don't, on cop news, G Nation. Thank you for keeping us in there. All right, so the first sequel match on this card: Orange Cassidy versus John Yo. Moxley for the AEW International Championship. Yo, man. What's up, blood? What we, what we doing? Because Orange Cassidy, like, I really don't fuck with you. Like you feel me? I'm I'm the funny guy. You feel me? Class clown. He 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 ha. He 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 ha. All that shit. But I don't like this nigga Moxley, bro. This nigga won my title. Then he lost my title. You feel me? Like real smooth, real fast. Like he wasn't that nigga. You feel me? He thought he was him, but he's not him. I'm him. I got my backpack. I'm finna fuck niggas up. Take my shit back. And you feel me? You think you finna take it from me? You feel me? What? I'm going with Orange Cassidy, bro. Yeah, it's time. Right, we can already see he's kind of leaning into the darker side because of the promise that he's been cutting. He's been doing a lot of talking lately, more than he's done in the entire time that he's been there. Those little like those little like kicks that he be doing, the the little uh little joke joke kicks that he be oh, doing. Yeah. He started turning them up. He's like, he'll do like okay, like soft kick, soft kick, and he'll just start ramping up on that shit. And the promos that he's been cutting have been kind of like, like I said, and kind of dark lately. So yeah, give give me that. Give me uh, him, and I think he's gonna win by doing some like some underhanded shit. Oh, yeah, cause like I think cause cause uh, bullet cause uh, what is it? Blackpool Combat Club. They're leaning into the babyface shit, so I think it's gonna be like a smooth like like uh, what is, what do they call it when they do that? Double turn. A double, double switch. Turn. A double turn. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to WrestleMania 13. Blood, I'm not even gonna lie to you. 
Andy said OJ gonna get murked by Moxley but still win. And I thought, what does OJ Simpson have to do with any of this? <laughs> <laughs> yo, Thank what did OJ so do to that Moxley? <laughs> yo. <laughs> oh my. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I want to hear this now. <laughs> Y- y'all know O.J. Simpson is a contributor to the uh, Cameron and Mace It Is What It Is show, right? Oh, I've seen that, yes. What? Amazing. I am a fan. Orenthal? Orenthal. Oh, James. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Orenthal <laughs> James. Is, is, yeah, he's a, he's a contributor and an analyst uh, on It Is What It Is. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Every what, now and nigga? again, it just pop up on it. That nigga came on there and was talking about the size of his helmet and said, dog, they call me headquarters. I what? said, whoa. Yo. <laughs> Yo, OJ. Hey, cut, the, cut the feed. Cut the feed. Cut the feed. <laughs> Yo, OJ, bro. Like, you I don't know where you're like, from. Yo, man. You can't say that on the show. That's not Harlem. All right, so our picks for this match, I'm going Orange Cassidy. Ben, you're going Orange Cassidy. Jizzle, you said you're going with who? I, I, think, I think everything that y'all said was very profound, Uh-oh. and I do see the, um, I do see <laughs> the changes in um, Orange oh, Cassidy, shit. especially oh, him getting this belt back that he had to get from Moxley because Moxley yeah. got hurt or Ray Phoenix mm-hmm. got hurt. But I think Moxley don't did. give – I think oh, Moxley yeah. – but – oh, yeah, there's a but, y'all. I think yeah. Moxley don't give a fuck about none of that shit that you're talking about, blood, because I'm just like – when I can just beat you until you don't move anymore, big dog, like, that's what I'm – I got Moxley, <laughs> blood. I, I can't go against him, man. Like, I'm not going against him. He's like right. he's like prime Patriots, <laughs> like, in, like in the two-man right. drill. Like, <laughs> like right. at the end of the day, I'm going to hit you with a whole bunch of stuff. Like I'm picking him. Her. All right. <laughs> so yeah, come on, Moxley, bring it home. Wow. By yeah. violence, too. <laughs> violence, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Pure violence, nigga. I'm with it though. I'm with it though. Yeah, somebody's gonna bleed within 38 seconds. No, so. in the entrance, you know what I'm saying? He might let the he might let this he might let this pyro burn him on, on purpose. Hey, what's uh, I'm stupid, y'all. What's a hemoglobin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, like, I think they're like the cousins of vitamin glutamates. I'm going to Google that. Yo, hemoglobin <laughs> got something to do with blood. I know that. I know. I know. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> okay. <laughs> means one blood. It's the protein in red blood cells. Can we move on? All right, cool. Let's move on. Thank you. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Is, there protein, hey, is there protein in oranges? Can you Google that next? <laughs> All right. I'm sure. <laughs> is that nigga finna get cooked? <laughs> but, I, but, I'm, but I'm picking him. But I'm picking him. I want to make that clear. I'm picking him. All right, cool. Let's go. Let's. Hey, hey, second sequel match on the car. And like I said, <laughs> I'm finna say a lot of shit tonight. Earlier, I said, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't, I I don't said. remember. I, I said the stuff I said. I don't remember what I said. I, look. All right, so I don't remember what y'all said. I don't remember what y'all said. I remember I said some shit was anti-black. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. When, I said, uh, when I said Looney Tunes back in action was better than... Uh, yeah, that's anti-black. Better than Space Jam. Definitely. And I mean, I mean that shit from the depths of my heart is a better movie. The animation is better. The the uh, voice acting is better. The Bro. acting itself is better. <laughs> Look at this nigga. You logic and shit. You know what I'm saying? But what about the style right, cool. of big dog? So, what about the boom so, back? So, so, so. You know, no real hip-hop. Exactly. What, what about the boom back? You feel me? <laughs> hey, man, Lil Yachty said hip-hop is at its lowest, man. Creativity <laughs> is trash right now. I said, is that so? you... <laughs> Bro, you are you a contributor. Seen, have you ever no. seen a mirror? <laughs> no, it's, no, because everybody's copying him now. <laughs> so he's just like, yo, man, this shit's stupid. Let's get it. So, second, second sequel match on this card. This is a Texas death match. Hangman Adam Page versus Swerve Strickland. And that promo that Hangman cut on Dynamite tonight was anti-black. Okay? Yo. I'm going to fuck what y'all say. <laughs> that shit was fuck. nasty. That shit was horrible. That shit was gross. You niggas talking about that shit was fire. I was like, nigga, what is this nigga cooking? What is he talking about, nigga? The Thanos meme, nigga? 
What was he cooking, nigga? What is he talking about? He said, Prince John Nuts. Swerve, nigga. This, this, this nigga is trying to divide black people? This, y'all trying to, y'all, y'all gonna let this nigga d- divide nigga? Think he can. He's using you. Nigga, we both broke into your house together and ate your little chocolate covered berries or whatever the fuck it was, nigga. We, we fucking your shit up, nigga. Fuck what's in your fridge, nigga. Fuck your couch, nigga. Your baby crib, nigga. All that shit. And you talk about this nigga is using you so he can get money to buy weed on Saturdays outside of the venue. I said, nigga, th- th- oh, wait, 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 wait. You think I'm here working just because I'm trying to buy weed with my check? First of all, AW Music, I appreciate y'all because I bought some weed with my check. Hey! But it's not about me. I'm not fighting Hank, man. On Saturday. I'm saying, I'm saying I think that shit was a little anti-black. Y'all said that nigga was cooking. I did not think that. He was, was cooking. I didn't think it was. He what was, was he cooking? cooking? What was he cooking? It was a vegan meal, nigga. Flaming like y'all. <laughs> Yeah, he was cooking filet Yeah, This is random, but <laughs> swerve. You need them little eye patch things. Them little eye patch things that heal your back. He's a vampire. Nigga, that nigga is tired, bruh. No, I don't know cool. what you be doing in your off time, bro. But you tired, my nigga. Them bags yeah. under your eyes, all this, all this, all this, like all this saggy black ass shit right under here, my nigga. You need them little gold, gold patches, my nigga. You my nigga. You feel me? I fucks with you. You feel me? And I think more of us should yeah, take care yeah. of ourselves in different ways. You feel me? I'm talking about. So with that said, you feel me? Get you them little you know. gold packs. No, bitch. Get the one that Rich Bush put on John three sixteen on. We used to play for uh, USC and shit. Put that right there. You'll be just fine. Put one of them right there, like a don't live a soldier. Hey, hey, like for fashion, nigga. Uh, I'm talking about healing his fucking like his eyes, nigga. Hey, well, that would hurt. That would help though. Nah, you know what that go. shit reminds me? You know what that shit kind of reminds me of? Like when I saw the bags yeah. on his eyes. Have you guys ever seen Holiday uh-huh. Heart? Yes. He looked like Wanda from Holiday Heart with them bags. So, <laughs> I got your bike back. <laughs> <laughs> I got your bike back. And then she got hit by a car and shit. I was like, damn. <laughs> then we went to Paris. Like, yo, know, like, she got hit by a car and then it went to Paris. <laughs> like, that's 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 hilarious. Um, yo, Graham, I think that he did go a little too far, but yo, but you, you, you popped him in the house and was, like you looked over my baby, son. Like, <laughs> like, is there is so there any- I'm so, like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm cutting I'm, them if it was me. Okay, so my comparison, Listen, me and my, Draymond is my explanation me. here is that I feel like he was being anti-black. Bro, he... I'm going to stand on... I'm standing on my square, nigga. I'm not saying that on was business. ending to... You feel me? I'm not saying that he was... That nigga standing on business. <laughs> 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 so I'm not saying... I'm not saying he was intending to like you niggas fucking this Jim Cornette shit all week. But uh, but what I'm saying is I think that Hangman is a good fucking guy, right? I think he's a great guy. I think he's really a probably nice a good person, right? You feel me? But oh, yeah, I feel like he was writing this promo, you feel me? And he was like, oh yeah, I got some good shit, you feel me? And he was like, oh yeah, and then I'm gonna throw in, after I kick your ass, I'm gonna steal your weed. Ha 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 ha. Right? Honestly, bro, that wasn't enough to save it. Not for me. For y'all, if that's enough for y'all, that's cool. Tony, I did not Tony, like that promo. You didn't proofread this, Tony? <laughs> yeah, they tried it with a uh with a uh with a what's it what's the shit called? With a Matt Castro with a Matt Castro. Nah, a, little, uh, 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 a group think. What what's some shit called? A, a group not a group chat, but a group. Oh, prayer circle? Whatever. I don't know. The, 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 uh, Cody said he tested his promo on a uh, on a group, whatever. I don't know the word. Oh anyway. focus group. Hey, listen, man. I- I'm just saying. That's that's how I feel. What what are, what are we doing though? However, uh, see, this was my problem, right? This is my problem because I I, I I still got many feelings about this, right? I said on program language. By the way, make sure y'all subscribe to Patreon. You feel me? Dot com slash Public Enemies P three TV. There's a lot of shit going on over there. Anyways, so my show over there. I said on, on program language. My problem with this feud continuing is Swerve already fucking won. Now we're entering uh, 
and uh, we're entering. I don't even know the word, nigga. You feel me? But we're in it. We're in a situation now where it's like it feels like I done broke into your house. I done threw a t-shirt in your baby crib, and you have to win this feud. I don't want Hangman to win this feud, nigga. So sometimes, wrap this shit up with a bow, know. nigga. You feel sometimes me? You know. <laughs> so, so, so we booking a we booking Hangman in a Texas death match. He don't really lose these. He ain't from Texas, nigga. He's not, but he don't really lose these. So why are we doing this? Swerve got to Swerve got to choke him out with a noose. I'm going with Swerve. You feel me? Because I fuck oh! with him. Oh, black. <laughs> You got to bring back the news since he, he did the promo since you like it so much, Ben. Yep, here you go. Oh my God! <laughs> no, <laughs> we're gonna be here for a while. The news, yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna, gonna be the news and the horse. Oh uh, my God! Yo, I'll, I'm picking Swerve just because. Yes, like, I, mean, I feel yeah. like I feel like I can't. I feel like I can't not pick Swerve after that after that speech because Graham got, got me ready to run through a wall. <laughs> I hate. <laughs> like, no, I, 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 right. Hold on, I. I hate how Graham has gotten the chat on his side for this shit because <laughs> <laughs> y'all, <laughs> team versus, all right, y'all know who says, was... Booker T versus Triple H vibes. Uh, you know, he's these. Uh, Daryl said when he was doing his little rap, Daryl said, "Oh my mama, these." You, I, I don't like how you how, how you turn the chat because this shit hey, is fire. I'm saying, bro, all, all, all he was missing word, was your drugs, nappy word. head and your suckers. That's all he was missing, bro. That's all he was missing. He said, hey, 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 no, 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 fuck that. This nigga Hangman said, you don't got it. You can't cut it. You you already beat me. You should be the champion. You, you said that this is what you wanted, right? Why are you still funking with me? That's the same question I asked on program like why are you still fucking with this nigga? But he said, I got a feeling that the reason you still got a problem with me is because you ain't got it, nigga. You can't cut it. You don't believe that you can be the champion. Da, 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 da. All of this fuck shit. Nigga, you gonna tell me that this nigga don't believe in himself after he just broke in your fucking house? Oh, yo, we are back. We are fucking back. Fuck that. <laughs> what I'm talking right, about. Fuck that. All right. All right, give me, give Welcome. me, give me swerve. I'm going to swerve, swerve, bro. <laughs> bro. If he loses, you know, I'll be so hot, too. bro. I'm going to be hot, bro. This wrong. I'm going to be so hot. We're going to be wrong. We're going to be all wrong together. I'm going to be hot, bro. Like, Why? fuck, man. You stood over my baby. <laughs> but you still can't I say that shit? What? But you stood over my baby. No, nah, fuck that, man. All y'all niggas be on the timeline. When, when, when Christian pop up for his promos talking about fuck them kids, nigga. When a black man say fuck them kids, nigga, y'all niggas in unison together. You feel me? In stereo. Say it together with me now. Fuck them kids, nigga. Stop playing with me. Swear to win this match. Oh, right. so that's what he be saying. Oh, like, like, yeah, All right, cool. We need a palate cleanser. We need a palate cleanser. My yes. bad, y'all. All right, cool. Right, right, okay. Right, right. That was wait, fun. wait, wait, wait. Where's, where's the little thing at? We was doing a little thing. Let's do it. Let's get it. Calm down. She the baby. <laughs> I don't know. That's the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, StreamYard, check this out. Y'all got to stop automatically turning on the loop. Like, why? Why? If I don't click that, don't don't set that. You feel me, my nigga? Like, the fuck? You feel me? Like, when I turn on my phone, nigga, and I go to Apple Music, nigga, it don't automatically replay the same song every fucking time, nigga, because I would be really upset with y'all about that U2 album right now. Anyways, so... uh. Palette cleanser, let's slow it down. Let's bring it back now. With that said, tag titles are on the line. Four-way match, right? Let's get it. Ricky Starks and Big Bill are defending the AW Tag Team Championships against FTR, the House Niggas, and LFI. <laughs> I forgot what you still call it, man. I wouldn't go. Well, what am I supposed to call them? Ain't that their names? I mean, I- I, I mean, I was like, I was gonna go with the nigga until I realized the house nigga was in it. I love with damn. Now I'm in a kerfuffle. I mean, it's it's a couple niggas in there. I mean, it's, post. I mean, Ricky Starks is the house nigga too. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> not, yo, we, yo, freeway. We didn't even be there. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. Look at I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want the milk of the tea, Rick? That's why I'm picking you up. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not, I wasn't I'm here. Not, I'm not picking. Week. I'm not picking. I can't pick fucking big cats, dog. I can't. 
<laughs> All right, so check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. So I wasn't here last week, and I heard what you said. I heard the conversation that y'all said that y'all that y'all had. Jizzle, I don't have a problem with Big Bill. I had a problem with Big Cass. Okay. Big Bill is all right with me. Big Cass God. was boozy. That shit was not working. All right. Hey, the cool. I think the Man. niggas is the same nigga is why I'm picking the house niggas. Okay, I'm picking House of Black yeah, hey. because Ricky Stark yeah, is gonna hey. turn on this nigga. Like I think I think Ricky Stark <laughs> is just is a nigga just like me. Like once one thing doesn't work one time, like okay, it worked this time. But next time one don't work, you know what I mean? Like, but fuck, see, I knew this shit was gonna work. You know what I'm saying? You go kick him out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo. Uh, Picking House of Black. Yeah. Yeah, give me House of Black, too. Y'all going with the house, nigga? Yo, they got the, they got, yo LFI yeah. got who shit it, though. They're Russian Jalistico, man. I, uh, uh, oof. Here's the thing. Ricky Starks and Big Bill is losing this match, right? They shouldn't. Though. So they this should. Is a perfect match for them to win. Um, them. This match, is but I think the plan all along was for them to lose here at full gear, right? When it was originally supposed to be FTR, it was supposed to build to a bigger match. All that shit y'all was talking about last week, I'm gonna fuck. But uh, not 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 y'all, not y'all, y'all my niggas. I'm talking about y'all as a collective, <laughs> as like wrestling community and niggas out there trying to like. Perpetuate shit. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, 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 fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. Um, I am gonna go with LFI. We got who shit it. And who's is definitely the most talented, talented basketball player on this court in this match. <laughs> so uh And they've been pushing him for hella long, you feel me on collision, you feel me, all type of shit. He talking about nigga, y'all niggas got me fucked up. I'm coming back for the bag and all the chips and the zuzus and wham whams. I need all my shit. I'm not playing with niggas. You feel me? And 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 uh, when I seen him on collision last week, he, he he seemed like he was trying to beat the shit out of Ricky Starks. I'm like, bro, leave my nigga alone, bro. What's up with you? Yo, man, he just got like, that belt. Leave him alone. What Shump, what Shump said, what you own, bro? Like, what? Like, that's how I felt watching Rouge. That's how I feel watching Rouge beat niggas ass, bro. I mean, like, Yo, what you said, lie again. Like, what's up? Lie bro? again. Lie yeah, again. That's, that's funny. Send him to the hospital. Call the hospital. I'm colder than a popsicle. Somebody said that on my first mixtape. I don't even remember. Anyways, let's get it. Uh, Full it's gear. Cool. The Nah, it wasn't Ace Car. It was some nigga from... It don't matter. Uh, Tony Storm will uh, be attempting to take the AEW Women's World Championship away from Sheeta F. Baby. Please say the baby. I am going with Sheeta F. Baby. Please say the baby. All the way, these you feel me? Who y'all going with for this match? I don't give a fuck what kind of discourse conversation y'all want to have about it. Uh, I think that Sheeta F. Baby should remain the champion, and Tony Storm would be better served uh, by losing this match. And whatever the fuck is going on with her and Mariah May, salute to Mariah May. Um, yeah, 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 for sure. Elite milk. I like milk. I like milk too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sometimes every now and again, but yeah, I, I think uh, Tony Storm would be better served to lose this match, and then uh, they uh, the relationship between her and Mariah May, you know, what I'm saying, continues on to get stronger and stronger until she eventually probably becomes a champion, and then they they, they probably start funking. But yeah. I like the Sheeta pick, I like the Sheeta pick because like Tony Storm feels her and Chris Statlander feel like they should be um, fighting each other for uh, six months. Because, mm-hmm. yeah. like the little character stuff, and like, every, like I feel like Chris Statlander would be because, like, she like she got her candlestick dog. Like, I got time for this shit, dog. Like, yo, <laughs> like, yo, give me somebody that I can beat up in here. You know, what I'm saying y'all want to do that other shit with it. Like, yeah, you want to eat, you want to eat booty peaches. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, you just you just see her pull the peach out of her ass, nigga. And ain't that shit. <laughs> yeah, and then she handed one to like Nigel McGinnis or whatever the fuck. Yeah, you know he ate like, that shit. I bet you ate that shit. Smelled the first, and then he ate it. He was like, "Oh, that good Australian air right there." You know what I mean? Go and live. It tastes like peach cobbler, yeah. like Mama used to make. <laughs> oh man! Um, our girl Sheena is is, is going to win uh, by uh, by. I think somebody's going to interfere. It might be Ruby mm-hmm. Soho. Well, Ruby Soho might have moved on. What's Soraya doing? Nothing. She could probably yeah. attack her. Her and Soraya could have like a little thing because you know, like I think they still got some get back going on. But I said, like I think Sheeta's gonna win. 
Yeah, give me uh yeah, give me Sheeta. Give me Sheeta. Alright, cool. You know what? Like, I don't like cooked fruit. So like peach cobbler isn't for me, but I'll take the crust and you don't some like ice apple cream. pie? I'll take the crust and some ice cream off of the apple pie. I don't like cooked fruit. That's not my shit. Warm fruit, it's like slimy. It's weird. Man. I'm a texture person. It's like slimy. I'm a texture I'm a person. Rich, bro, nigga. Like, like I mean, chocolate. That's, chocolate. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't I don't want the actual piece of the fruit, but I'll take whatever little puree it's little the outside shit around it. with it. You feel me? The fucking little, you feel me? Give me the ice cream and give me the crush. You feel me? I'm on it. just want the goo. <laughs> I want crust goo. <laughs> goo ice punch. Cream. All right, now goo punch. Say about it. Goo punch oh, on the left side. Goo punch. Hey, man, if y'all don't know about my brother and me, y'all don't know, man. Look hey, it listen, up. Listen, listen. Hey, listen, behind enemy lines, Kenny King, you feel me? It's out there. You feel me? Everywhere like air. You want to talk about? He would show love that show. Just like, oh, hit me. Speaking of hit me, see, look, look at that transition. Somebody's What's getting hit in these matches. Somebody's getting hit in the next you, match. You, you just, match. You're not even going like allude to like a match. Just just any match. Somebody's getting hit. I, I would hope so. You feel me? I would hope somebody get hit in the match because it's a match. It's a, all right, cool. So with that said, AW World Championship match. I feel like we've gone through all of these, right? Have we gone through all of these? Yeah, yeah. boom. Anyway, AW World Championship match. Jay White will be challenging uh, MJF. And MJF, you've been a sucker for weeks, bro. How you going to let this nigga keep hold of your title? Didn't you have it in your hands like a couple weeks ago? On collision, nigga. You going to let niggas just keep your belt? Ew. Ew. Did I tell you what? Did I tell you what Stone Cold did when uh, the Rock took his belt? Talk like he ran over his rental car with a with a monster truck. This nigga <laughs> said, "Did I ever tell you?" Like he was there personally, and nobody else saw it. I just to throw that out there. He <laughs> 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 said, "Did I ever tell y'all about the time?" <laughs> That's my favorite beginning of a sentence ever because you know some shit about to happen. Like, I ever tell you about the time when I had that money on my mind? I was really out there on my grind. I tell you about the time when I had to go and get straight. I cashed out for it. It was fake. Ever tell you about the time? Salute to Jeezy, man. That new album is trash, though. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, whoa, whoa, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. I hate to say it. At least yeah, eight. It's, not, it's not going. It was good. I hate to say it. Why do you have that many songs? I hate to say it. I hate to say I it. Hold, no, it, it wasn't better than the um than the snow um in young. Hey man, snow. Keese uh Keese, aka Southside Gun, told me I need to listen to Tizo Touchdowns uh, debut album. The entire thing is amazing, and I said, nigga. Throwing entire on a debut album is some generational talent shit, and that nigga walking around like he trying to be a member of Legion of Doom. So uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Because of, uh, because of, uh, because of Keith too, he said something about Skrilla's album. So I'm like, All, right, All right, cool. So we are one hour in. Uh, I will ask y'all one more question about AEW, and I think we should move forward. Who wins this match? Hey, do we uh, we all say MJF? I said MJF. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, cool. That's, that's MJF. I mean, I, I don't know if there was ever any other option to be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. It was a rhetorical question. Okay. Got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. Jay White, Jay White, Privilege Hennessy. You feel me? You my nigga, but you finna lose. Yeah. Come on the show though and tell us about how you lost. Hey, and, uh, AW, yeah. stop playing <laughs> with me, bro. Stop telling me I'm good enough to make music, but we not good enough to do y'all interviews, bro. Like, I'm going to really send, like, a stern email to somebody, and y'all going to be upset about it, and then never invite me back to the table again. And then To whom it may concern. <laughs> QT Marshall, I know you handled the emails here, so <laughs> you and Brandon Cutler need to tell them niggas to talk to us, okay? Oh, this is silly yours. The public enemies. Free Draymond Green. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. All right, cool. So, everybody, it seems like the chap wants uh, Jay White to win this match. <laughs> yo, yo. I'm sorry, G-Nation. he's not. <laughs> JBG Nations. <laughs> Mid White is 2000 NW. Don't, don't do <laughs> like that, bro. Yo, don't do it like that. 
That's hey, wait, wait, wait. wait, 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 wait. Don't piss me off. <laughs> you know, you know, like, not 2000 Jeff Jarrett, not, not NWO 2000 Jeff Jarrett. All right. That's, That's fucking hilarious. Not even the TNA Easy. Jeff Jarrett that he created. He's, he's, he's the end guy right, for sure, man. That was great. He might be, though. You <laughs> figure poker dude face ass nigga. That's pretty funny. Uh, MJF. Yeah, he's gonna retain. We going with MJF? Everybody going with MJF? Yeah. 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 All right, cool. Title reign. Last question play. that I have for y'all about AW and we're out of here. What do y'all think about the Continental Classic? Yeah, it's a, with a belt. twelve uh, wrestler tournament round robin, basically AEW's uh, version of the G one. Oh, the geez. only uh, entrant that we have at present moment is Brian Danielson, but this starts in about two weeks. Sure, well, you put him in, it, then he's probably going to win it because uh, you know what I'm saying he's going to be better than everybody that's in it because he's the best. In the world. And the finals will be at uh, at World's End on December thirtieth. By the way, damn, that's that's the same time that they're having the. Um, this is like this is like the little um, NBA in in season tournament. But this, you can't tell me this is not the same shit. Exactly you can't tell me that Tony, you can't tell me that Tony Khan didn't see this. It was like you know what, uh, this is the same exactly. You might as well do this too. Let's give it to a team that's going to win it anyway. Let's give it to Brian Danielson. He's definitely the different the, the different nuggets of, of AEW. Yeah, and when uh, when Brian Danielson starts kicking niggas' heads, and we'll be like, you know what? They they're fighting because everybody's so ramped up about the tournament, man. It's not because <laughs> uh... you're, gonna, you're gonna change the ring. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna put you're gonna put a big CC in the middle of it, just so just put get their brain splattered by uh by old goat in the middle of it. <laughs> just like damn, man, look at. Yo, but they keep changing it because it's like, yo, man, it's blood splatters. This ain't nothing but yo, an NBA. Yo, Eyeball Podcast. Yo, Eyeball Podcast. Tony trying to ruin his relationship with NJPW. Yeah, they're going to be over there be like, hey, nigga. That's just our shit. It's just like, with just different paint on the uh, on the turnbuckles. <laughs> nigga said, we got G1 on? at home, hey, y'all. <laughs> we got G1 with hey. bell peppers in it. We got G1 at home, y'all. Salute the vid, man. Yo, <laughs> ain't no bell peppers in G1. <laughs> Yo, I don't want Ed McMuffin. I want G one. Man, I said this this is gonna be better than the G one. <laughs> this is gonna be better than G one. Better than G one. You're right. <laughs> and then WWE's like, man, this is the deadly games. You know what I'm saying? We did this in 1998 for Survivor Series. What are you talking about? All right, man. Let's get it, dog. Um, bang, 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 bang. Yuck. Um, I was going to say something and then I thought I was ready, but then I'm not ready. And then I was ready and then I wasn't ready. Right. So then I had to do what's going to get me. If you ever like not been ready for something, then you go ready. And then like, once you got ready, you was ready. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all know what Every I'm talking day. about. Y'all ain't, never, oh. y'all ain't never experienced that. All right, cool. So let me tell y'all something right quick, man. Let me tell y'all something right quick, right? You know how, like, recently uh, we've been talking. We've been talking about making some changes. We've been talking about doing some things different. We've been talking about, hey, man, listen, dog. If you've been paying attention to the show, you know that I'm tired as shit, right? You know that. (laughs) Right fucking now. I'm doing this right what fucking fuck do look, at him, look at him, he got look at him, he got swerve eye bags, man. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga showed up like uh Jason Lyric's dad, like Forrest Whitaker when he lost his leg. Hey, bro, <laughs> I've never seen that movie, bro. No, I love you, right? I've never seen that movie. I seen I seen just that one part where they like in the like the field of like daffodils or whatever the fuck. Sunflowers. You know, Sides get dropped in their face. Ugh. Yeah, whatever the fuck. You feel me? Anyways, let's get it, man. Announcement time, right? I told y'all, we told y'all weeks ago that some changes was coming. We was gonna do some things differently. And to be honest with y'all, the time has come because 
What's the what's 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 the shit Owen Hart used to say? Enough is enough. Enough is enough, and it's time for a change. And the crowd goes wild. Broncos country, let's ride. Then he said that. <laughs> that nigga rented out a whole Waffle House. <laughs> Fucks with that nigga, man. But, 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 while you out here renting out Waffle Houses, focus a little bit more on what's going on with your professional life, man. Because out there on that field, you are looking crazy. Oh, man. Don't be skipping on no jets either. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, bro. Out here on this field, I've been looking a little crazy. As the quote unquote Red Ranger of this podcast, as the quote unquote leader of this podcast, I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I feel like I've been trashed this year. We gonna fix that. We definitely gonna fix that. Um, go we'll fix y'all with this. No, 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 for sure. Because these things just have to be done, right? We. Just, I'm, I'm just trying to talk to y'all right now. This ain't got nothing to do with wrestling or nothing like that. You feel me? Well, fuck all that shit. Whatever. But this program. Absolutely has to change, right? Sorry about it. Um, unfortunately, going forward, uh, not today, not today, not today. Again, listen, dog, we gotta. It take a minute. You feel me? Like, you, like when you move, like, do you just like wake up the day that you move? You feel me? And like, you like, all right, cool, I'm ready to go. No, 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 no. You gotta pack you know and boxes. Go to, pack and process, boxes, man. man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Trust the process too, by the way. You feel me? I mean, unless you're Philly and the Sixers, because that has done absolutely nothing for y'all as a model. Um, <clears throat> but right. Yeah, man. I'm sorry, man. So here's the thing. Public enemies. It's a new day, man. Things are changing. So I would like to invite each and every one of you cordially. You know what I'm saying? Whether you are watching this on YouTube, whether you are listening to this on Apple, Spotify, Google, whatever the hell. Hey, throw us a review, by the way. We really appreciate it. Uh, But this show has to change and will change. So in about a month's time, uh, we invite you all to join us. Yeah, man. Uh, We will be moving to Thursdays. Ooh. December 7th, the Public Enemies podcast will be moving to Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. That is 4 p.m. Pacific. 7 p.m. Eastern, December 7th. 4 p.m. Pacific. Every Thursday, starting December 7th. It's a new afternoon. Yes, it is. Yeah, pretty much. It's a new afternoon. Yeah, I already know. So, yeah, I know. yeah definitely. Hey, yeah, G Nation said, watch out to your name. Yo, yo, yo. We, we can go get y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas can't compete. Only person can compete is Trinity. Shout out to Trinity. Come on the show. Definitely. <laughs> ben said, I let yeah. dinner with the enemies. Hey, look, look, you feel me? The enemy of the enemy, the enemy of your enemy is my friend. You feel me? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Whatever, whatever, you feel me? But we got to go a little bit earlier. We got to kick it with y'all on it. Because honestly, like this, this, this my thing, right? This my thing. Like I said, like, I feel like I've been doing a disservice to y'all. You feel me? For some time now, like my schedule has changed and Wednesdays is just different for me now because, um, I get off of work at like 7.30 in the morning and I'll be tired as shit. And so that's why if you've been noticing, I don't know if y'all been noticing, but I've been noticing <laughs> that I don't like the way I feel when this podcast, the audio episode or whatever the fuck, video clip, whatever the fuck doesn't go out until 9, uh, 10 o'clock eastern you feel me or whatever or it'd be like it'd be really like nine o'clock my time type shit like I, i've been getting this show out late and i apologize for that but we're gonna fix that we're gonna nip that shit in the bud and we're gonna keep this shit rocking we're gonna keep it going you feel me it's gonna be saucy it's gonna be it's, it's gonna go crazy uh, uh okay tristan said i'm gonna have y'all and brp on the same night yeah so so check this out check this out check this out Uh-oh. i'm not really into counter programming my niggas like that you feel me so by the time oh do you want to go 
By the time they get started, you feel me? We then they're gonna be done. So, so this, this, this is what I look at it like, right? This is what I look at it like, right? You feel me? Like we we, we talking about the Thursday lineup type shit. You feel me? You, y'all remember BT, right? So check this out. I feel like we like we like. All right, cool. So Thursdays, y'all gonna get uh public enemies as like hits from the streets, right? Oh, you feel me? No, we're not. And then, we rap city. And then and, rap city. no, 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 no. Black wrestling is rap city. We are hits from the streets because we are here to just talk some shit and run up, run up to niggas and just say some shit. Are you calling us Cedar? <laughs> nigga, oh, no, Cedar. nigga. Cedar had her own fucking show, nigga. That was Cedar's world, nigga. Don't ever disrespect Cedar, nigga. Cheetah, nigga. <laughs> we both what are you talking about, nigga? I'm Together. saying, blood, nigga. It is what it is. But hey, hey, check this out. December seventh, seven p.m. Eastern time. Fuck with it. Public Enemies podcast live and direct. Coming at you just like that. You feel me? Hey, I, I don't know what to tell y'all other than that. You feel me? But yeah, exactly. It's a double header. You feel me? Get it, get it right. Get it. It is what it is, man. But yeah, check me out. That's how we're gonna yeah. rock. That's how we're gonna roll. Uh December 7th, just a few weeks away. You feel me? Uh, a couple more TikToks. You feel me? It is what it is, man. But I hope y'all join us. I really yeah, man. Hey, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Mark all your calendars and then I'm gonna hit this. Don DeMarco, DeMarco, DeMarco. Don DeMarco all your calendars, all right. Big action, you feel me? Yeah, it is what it is, man. You feel me? <laughs> yo, yo. P37 to 8.30, BRP, 8.30 to 10, and then BT uncut. <laughs> hey, man, listen. I'm, listen, I'm just here. I'm just here to try to find me a little baby. I can slide a credit card through that little ad. You feel me? I'm talking about. Hey, so. Shout out to Nick and Money in the zip line. Yo, shout out to uh, Joker the Bell Bondsman. Mm-hmm. ETM Cut, you know what I mean? The, the Chingy Right There video. Mm-hmm. Nicodemus, you know, <laughs> I don't even know what them niggas is doing. Mr. Cheeks. Yeah. Shout out to y'all. All right, blood. So where, where y'all want to take it now? Let's go ahead and talk about, uh, I don't know, man. What's going on with the... Uh, Damage control. I heard that uh, damage control added some new members. Uh, they had a merger. Fucking, what was it? They had a merger. Just talk they, to us, man. They had a merger. Merged, what happened? They merged like Sprint and T-Mobile did. You know what I'm saying? So now it's um, dem- it's, it's uh, the Kabuki uh, Kabuki control now. You know what I'm saying? We said we had added Oscar. You know what I'm saying? The big dog. You know what I mean? And uh, we didn't stomp out Bailey because you know what I'm saying. I'm saying the, the young homie EO. He was like, you know what I'm saying? She good. And Dakota, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Dakota of all time and the Bailey. We all came together to stomp out the um, the faces of um, of the women's division. God damn it. Because it, it felt like some Nexus shit. It was like, yo, I'm here. Like, I'm not on your team. <laughs> and then, like, I'm with them. Like, I don't like y'all either. And, uh, yeah, did, you see the, did you see the little clip where they're all backstage and Bailey walks back there and they were talking to everything. She walks back there and they just. Stop talking. Everybody gets quiet. Yeah, they're going to beat the dog shit out of her, bro. Like, it's not even going to be, like, it's going to be, it's, it's not going to be good. And, you know, she's going to get missed at first, too. It's going to be, like, in order. So, she's going to get missed at first, and then she's going to get kicked in the face, and then it's going to be a, um, a, a, a moonsault and then an elbow. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. It's definitely going to be, like, like, you hit the nail on the head. It's definitely going to be some Nexus shit. You remember when they would just, like, they would all line up just to hit their move on John Cena? Like, it's going to be some shit like that. Hold him up. Hold him up. Kicked. Missed. Oscar lot. How long does this last? Two months. I'll give it the Royal Rumble. Good. Yeah, I give it. Yeah, I give it about the Royal Rumble. I think, I think you could have enough fun with it. You could do, like, enough, like, teasing. Like, okay. All right, all right, they're going to beat her ass and then kind of, like, move on from it and then, like, finally just, like, do it. I think, like, yeah, well, I'm going to be, like, a good time. It'll, it'll give it enough, ch- enough time to let it breathe. But Y'all so ready for cheer for Bailey again? Yes. Nigga, what? The cheer for Bailey still. Just it's going to be... Bay Area legend. It's going gonna, it, it's gonna to be a little, like, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go because she's been a heel for so long and we haven't seen this, like, version of her... Be a baby face. I don't like. I know she's not gonna go back to the hugger like inside ponytail or whatever. (laughs) I know that's gone. (laughs) I know that's gone. (laughs) But it's gonna be interesting to see how she plays this version of herself as baby face. So I'm just interested to see how it goes. 
I think Bailey could be the the, the Sami Zayn of uh, of what he was in um, <laughs> football. Twelve men on the field. Oh my God, Graham. <laughs> yo, yo, if Bailey turns into the Sami Zayn in the bloodline, which I think is what she's probably going to do. That would be. Uh, I think that would be. Yo, I think Bailey is. I think Bailey's going to get the uh, to. Uh, showcase her her everything in this just being the one that's like yeah man like you say like the one that gets sent to the stove type shit and oh my god own, you gotta do like it you gotta, group. you gotta do it you gotta do it tristan's comment you gotta do it you gotta do it <laughs> big ball of booty baby face bailey it, it bam it's control blood <laughs> he said she got a big baller booty <laughs> big ball of booty. that's a real trip would be big ball of booty bailey Quad B. Oh my God. Bay Area legend. Bay Area big ball of booty, Bailey. Babyface Bailey. Someone to love for the cool in you, Bailey. Baby Someone face. love you all nations. <laughs> Yo, here's John B. Babyface, we don't want to see John B, nigga. Well, we can't even see. Yo. Yo, if, but yeah. <laughs> if she could turn into the Sami Zayn and the bloodline of... Uh, of damage control, I think I think they're gonna stretch this shit out as long as they could, because they could splinter it off as much as they could. Because Dakota, she's still a wild card. So yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, like it's like yeah, I think you can, I think you can get a lot of story out of this and like kind of build this WrestleMania. Uh, speaking of some things that I think are being built towards WrestleMania, Jake Hawkins. Uh, all right, <laughs> we haven't seen her, but uh, Santos up. Escobar he turned on uh, Rey Mysterio on SmackDown. Novellas W.O. <clears throat> yeah, they did like a whole little segment at the beginning of um, at the beginning of SmackDown, an L.W.O. team meeting, and Carlito came out and was basically like, "Yo, you niggas not watch the show." Santos put the brass knucks on the ring apron for Logan Paul to pick up. And that's why um, that's why Raven Steel don't got the title no more. Santos was like, damn, boss. All just, oh. <laughs> yeah, then all of a sudden, like, they're just, you know, Santos is just like, I would never do that. You know, you, you, you're my hero. I, I'm with you, man. Like, this is us against the world. So later on, they have the match. Uh, it was Carlito. Who's in that match? Car- the Carlito. Uh, the Santos popped up. This um, it was Lashley. Yo, yeah, yeah Lashley. Carl- yeah, it's Carlito versus Bobby Lashley. Yeah, my bad, my bad. Uh, and yeah. Uh, yeah, Street Profits jumped in. They're beating the shit out of Carlito. Santos just on the ring apron, just like watching. Ray comes down. It's like, what are you doing? Why aren't you jumping? Why aren't you jumping and help? Santos is like, come on, man. We, you were supposed to be my, you, you know, you were my hero, or whatever. And then Santos finally gets tired. Just hits Ray in the back of the head. <laughs> like they start going cut. at it. Yo, they start going at it. Hey, Santos man. Nah, 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 bro. Stop spreading false information. That is not what happened. Ray Mysterio what hit happened? that nigga first. Ray Mysterio hit that nigga first. Don't, uh-huh. don't get it twisted. Yeah, he didn't bro. hit him first. He hit him first. Yes, he did. Bro. I'm sorry. Ray I'm sorry. Friday first. was a long time ago. I'm sorry. Ray my, hit my, that my, nigga memory, first, My memory is messed up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Good. Santos was 100% justified, nigga. He was 100%. Look, look, look. Okay, my bad. I let the, you see it, but I was trying to run this nigga off, bro. Ray hit that nigga first. Like, nigga, you're supposed to be gang, nigga. Like, you got to help remember? gang out. And then Hold he bushed on, him. Like, he bushed him like bro. a little homie. He bushed him like a little homie would do, a, like a big homie would do a little homie. Like, you bitch ass nigga. And then forgot that that nigga oh, was bigger than him. Ray popped off first. <laughs> I mean, like, they was in each other's face. You feel me talking about this shit. But Ray hit that nigga first, bro. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like, I, what? I'd have dusted that oh. nigga right there. <laughs> Yo, what, you want to watch it back? You want to watch it back? You can't. You can't. Hold yeah. on. Yo, Ray can't, I'm yeah. saying, bro, he was justified, nigga. You feel me? Because Ray was like, nigga, you get your mind right. What the fuck you doing, nigga? This the team. You feel me? Like, nigga, the fuck you mean, nigga? I ain't your son, nigga. Yeah, that's what he probably said, too. He was like, yo, you're an expensive backpack for 30. That's what he said. <laughs> and then he got punched. Hey, blood. Hey, blood. I'm fuck, nigga. I'm, I'm rocking with Santos, cuz. 
Oh. <laughs> I'm rocking with the opposition. I'm rocking yo, with Esco. Yo, Esco. You know what I'm saying? Always. You know what I'm saying? Says Santos. Yo, my man. Yo, my I, man. I can't Posted find, a picture I, of Ray Mysterio. Was like, yo, stay gone. <laughs> I can't find the clip. I can't find the clip, but I uh, you believe I, me. I, I, just believe I, me. Uh, like you're, you're you're speaking with so much conviction in your voice, <laughs> I, I have no choice. But to Yo, believe you, it could be wrong. <laughs> it could be wrong. But either way, <laughs> I'm he beat the dog wrong. shit. Out of, either either way, he beat the dog shit out of Ray. And Santos was like, "Come on, man, why you y'all niggas invited Carlito back? I didn't want Carlito to come back. Y'all y'all wanted all this shit. I thought it was gonna be me and you. I didn't even want these niggas over here to be in the group. To be honest with you, I, it was just gonna be me and you against the world. And he attacks Ray and like Ray uh, catches his leg behind the steel steps. Santos just like kicks that shit." And uh, yeah, and he walks off, and like like CJ said, uh, he quoted a picture of Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio was laid up. He had posted a picture that he uh, had successful knee surgery, and he'll be out for six, and he'll be out for six to eight weeks. But I think I think he'd get this match to WrestleMania. If we're being completely honest with you, I think you could get this to WrestleMania. You should. There's a whole group in there too. Like Zelina was crying. Shout out to her. You know what I'm saying? Crying like I'm saying like Holly Berry and losing Isaiah, like it was great. Like she had her tears going on. The fucking weak ass niggas in the group that Santos is probably talking about. Like yo, these niggas is weak, and I had them in my group before that. Like you gonna you gonna yeah. bring in another weak nigga? <laughs> like man, what yeah. else? Vince said uh, he said Ray is good. He said he's taking a bath in stem cell so he can go another fifteen years. Hey, <laughs> y'all was doing Ray real dirty on a timeline. Y'all posted that video of like the little don't try this at home shit where he's like, I had surgery five times in my left knee. And <laughs> y'all just keep posting that all the time. Stop it. Yo, man, Ray got a body. Like, stop Ray, we going through Ray, Ray, <laughs> like, like, with y'all niggas. <laughs> Ray go, is gone through a lot, bro. This man betrayed by everybody he's ever loved. He got, he, like, Ray got to become like a super villain, man. Bro, I was yeah, the third biggest it. person in the, in the No Limit Soldiers in 2000. It was like Master P, Romeo, and then me. And then Conan. Like, can you say that, Santos? Nah. I used to wear a mask. Uh, it's but, like I did. But, but like, yeah, you can you can, uh, you can can lengthen this rivalry. You can have him fight Carlito for like a couple of pay-per-views. And then Ray comes back and like he's like, you know what? I'm not doing this shit that I did with Dom. I'm straight up gonna beat your ass, like bro, like and like I I can't imagine like the emotional turmoil that Ray has to go through. Like his last year, you you wrestled your son, and now you gotta wrestle your like apprentice this year. Like they like the writers room ain't got no love for Ray Mysterio whatsoever. You know, I dare this nigga to pull up on my house on this Christmas like my son did. Like I kill you. You know what I'm saying? You're trespassing. <laughs> like, you're trespassing. Like, you're Yo. trespassing here now. You know what I'm saying? You, I'm about to throw you through my own window. You know what I mean? They throw you through my own window like Randy Orton did. Like, yo, I'm going to stomp you out. I'm not going to give you the grace like I gave my son and the greatest Australian to ever live. My uh, stepdaughter. <laughs> my daughter-in-law. <laughs> my mate-in-law. So, uh, oh. yeah, you'll get beat up out here, Santos. I think that shit's going to be like a Dragon Ball Z fight at WrestleMania. Yo, facts. Like, Ray. Ray lied. Yeah. Ray was like, yo, man, I'm going to retire when I'm 50. This man's like 52 or something like that. Yeah, blood got at least another seven years in me. Him and Bron will retire the same day. Like, yo, will Bron stop, I'll stop. <laughs> Bron still averaging 24? Like, yup, I can still do that. Still give y'all a couple moves, salt to those 619s here and there. Yeah, you know, I think we talked about it. I think we talked about it last week. About, uh, what was it, SEC it was like, yo, there was an Vince McMahon, there was a Vince McMahon problem or something that they were, <laughs> they were going to go to the Uh, According to like uh, TKO said in a press release, Vince McMahon is selling uh, eight million four hundred thousand of his shares in his TKO stocks. Oh my God! Paying you're paying them to go away, huh? That's what it sounds like to me. Hey, listen, you're gonna sell some of your stocks. We'll give you. Let's say this is gonna be like seventy million dollars, like two hundred seventy million dollars, some shit like that. Like it's a wild ass number. Well, look at that fucking thing. Like, yeah, see? Mm, Dana White. I don't even like this man, see? Got my jacket from Seth Rollins, see? Uh, <laughs> it's, like, uh, 
they got on they, a they ball jacket. Him. They backing this nigga out the door, man. They, was, they really <laughs> used him. And he was like, come on, man. I thought we had was special. <laughs> this nigga over here, white, he's a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit. Like, we were supposed to, we were supposed to be something. It was like, here you go, blood. Here's his $200 million, man. Go home. Go, go home, Grandpa. Go home, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> like, go home, Roger. Go look at the grass. <laughs> Yo. A two hundred million dollar loss ain't nothing. Yo, take it. Yo, man. Yo, Hunter, we will give you a bump. I'm like, all right. Hey, Dad. Okay, I can't talk to him no more. Um, sounds good to me. Hey, Dana. <laughs> hey, Dana. Um, I don't know who else to talk to now, but uh, I said I really need a father figure. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to Shawn Michaels. <laughs> hey, Sean. Yeah. Me. Let's see. What else happened? Uh WWE opened up to more re- wait, more ad real estate with turnbuckles and mats. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna bastardize this up out like AEW was doing in the beginning that all the fans made fun of everybody else for. Yeah. yeah bro, WCW used to do that shit. These niggas ain't nothing special, bro. They, we used to do that shit over there. Bro, you thought putting like what was like? Remember they used to have like matches that was like sponsored by Mountain Dew, um, um, Vault Water, like whatever the fuck they say, whatever new flavor they got every other month. Uh, they just put that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Pitch black or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Just make a match out of that. You're gonna put it on the fucking match now? I'm like, all right, blood. Like, like that's what the UFC does. So I can see it. Put it in the corners and shit. Like, fuck the logo, huh? Because the logo ain't WWE no more. It says TKO. Um, we I don't know now. why. I don't know why they didn't do this shit a long time ago. Because when, because uh, when Brock Lesnar came back, he had his gear that he had in the UFC, and he had like sponsorships and everything, like on the trunks and everything like that, in the shorts. And apparently, like CM Punk did the did the little interview with Coco Band. He was like, "I want to do that shit too," but they they wouldn't let me. I had I had sponsors uh, lining up to do that shit, but they didn't want me to do it. It's like, bro, you could have been making more money, but you just didn't want to do it. Because like, oh, I want to keep the logo right there. I'm like, nah, nigga. Jack Links wants to support. They want to sponsor it. Like, let them niggas put it. Get on the turnbuckle. Yeah, yeah but that's uh, didn't they have karate fighters doing that shit? Not just, yeah, ninety five. The only reason that they didn't do it was just because Vince McMahon was sternly against the idea. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's since he's. Idea. No longer the owner of the shit. They said that he has softened his stance, but this is no longer his decision to make. Bro, of course <laughs> you ain't got no tell, choice, bitch ass. Tell, that's exactly what it is. Once you tell a nigga, like, hey man, you don't got no control in this shit. Of course they're gonna soften their stance. Of course they're gonna be like, hey man, you know, I, I was wild a little bit because they don't got control of the shit. <laughs> you damn right, you was wild, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut up. Go get us some coffee. Like, Send that niggas to the store. Like, Bring my change back. When we're driving your car, we'll go to Checkers. When we're driving my car, we'll go to where the fuck I want to go to. <laughs> checkers. <laughs> He's a year. Or O'Reilly's or whatever you call it. <laughs> I want to have some fun. Shoot. While you guys were talking about uh, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar, I said, you know what? Let me just work real quick. So I grabbed a few videos. <laughs> I grabbed a few videos. Um, uh, hell. You guys saw the whole thing about like Logan Paul saved Rey Mysterio. Yada, 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 yada. He spoke about that yeah. on Impulsive. Here we go. I think I also almost killed Rey Mysterio. <laughs> I was, I think I was too far back for the move. And I think he didn't clear enough ground for the move. That's that's what happened. Like, I, I I was too far back, and he didn't clear enough ground. We both, I think, made a mistake, and I, I had to catch him. Mm-hmm. I had to catch him, and I wasn't gonna not catch him. So, like, truthfully, while I I like the headlines and I like being gassed up like this, I was just doing my job. Yeah, but I'll take it. I'll take the parade. We were too far. No, if you were too far back, nigga, then it was your fault, nigga. That's what it sounded like to me. Like, you should, probably should have been closer, my nigga. Maybe. Come on, man. What a, what, a, what a stand-up guy. He said, I don't want the praise. I was doing my job. 
okay, now by the logic of the internet, that means like, okay, you don't want the praise, whatever that means. We got to praise you more because you said you uh, don't want it. Now they got you. No, you That's can't praise more because he said it was both our faults, nigga. Like, it can only be one. What a stand up guy. He's taking, he's taking the, uh, he, you know, he's taking the heat for it. What a stand up guy. Yeah, because Ray Mysterio probably said no Spanish, nigga, when his broken leg, with his leg sitting up, like, pops after he got bit in the ass on fucking Friday. Like, look, I was just saying, he was too far. You know what I'm saying? I can only go so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I throw the ball at 15. It's a 15 yard hitch route. You can't go 20 and expect me to hit you at 15. At least he caught him, though. You know, you know what I'm saying? Listen, hey. man, it was it was the wide receiver's fault. It came off his hands, even though, like, Josh Allen's <laughs> throwing the ball fucking 100 miles an hour. Yeah. A bullet eight yards out <laughs> of them to catch that shit. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> That's great yeah, mysterious. Yeah, yeah, like, hey, you got it. You got, you got it, like, Josh. Hey, I'm going to come off these ropes. I'm going to come off these ropes. And you'll be right there. He's like, nah. I'm gonna be eight yards out. I need you to. Yeah. I need you to do this shit 100 miles an hour. I'm like, nah. Okay, all right, got it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But, uh, it's, it's, it's 34. You know what I'm saying. 12 minutes to go in the first quarter. But you know, I got you, right? I'll catch you. But, uh, Logan Paul, like he he did some more shit this week. He was like, yo, uh, he retired from boxing. Yeah, he said, I'm um, uh, Fox is uh, slowly on WWE now. Uh, this shit is way harder than boxing. You know that thing keeps coming up. By the way. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know what he also did though. Oh, he God. also he also he also did this. <laughs> I swear, Triple H. He came up to me. He said, uh, "Logan, congratulations on the belt." One thing, we, <laughs> one thing we've been really cautious about here in the organization is making sure our athletes are not fucking in the in their belts. So if you can just refrain from fucking in your belts. And I give him my word. Next thing you know, I'm clapping cheeks in this fucking forty pound piece of metal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, I mean, it'll happen. Blood, why can't, why can't niggas just listen? Yo, like, we're going to have to get a new belt now. <laughs> Yo, why are you uh, clapping well, cheeks? I feel like, <laughs> I feel like there are I had that shit taken from my like, neck. Hey, nigga. <laughs> I feel like, you know, we had multiple on top of multiple times to kind of rectify these situations because, uh, I'm not even gonna go into it, but yeah, you already know. <laughs> this niggas is the sixth time. Niggas, niggas was disrespecting the belt before, and they was like, you know what? We just gotta go ahead and, and get a new set all together. I think it's what you might have to do for this one, because LA Knight getting that belt off, up off him at WrestleMania, and I think like we might need a new design. I don't know. <laughs> Bring back the spitter belt, <laughs> because I am not wearing that belt. Nah. Ain't no way. <laughs> Oh man, I'm not even gonna say that. <laughs> Almost says some wild shit. Uh, hey. Man, <laughs> this is yo. That's funny. How can you not expect yo? How can you not expect me to clap some ass and fuck like man? Fuck my girl with this belt, dog. Like, I'm sorry. This is gonna happen. I just want this shit. Man, give me it's the like give me the little. I, if I'm LA Knight, when I when I win the title up off him, I'm like, hey man, give me the belt that y'all that y'all keep around when niggas forget their belt at home or they lose it at the airport or, or get stolen at a steakhouse or some shit like that. Give me yeah, that. Yeah, belt. Yeah, I don't, I don't want this. Yeah, bring that over here real quick. Until we get y'all think he was serious? Nah. No, and this nigga, you never fucking it's know. Funny man. About it, but I just want to know. Like, yeah, I, think I don't even know. I, like, think, I, I, feel like, I think he's serious because I don't think he really doesn't care. Like, nigga, fuck you, nigga. Yeah. This is the same no, nigga that was going out. This is the same nigga that was in, like, uh, I forget what country he went to in Asia, but he was out there. And, no. You know, he was taking yeah, 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 yeah. That's crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, that, like, I don't, I don't put nothing past this nigga, okay? I feel you. <laughs> All right. I, I just, you know. I do it. I'd be like, "Yo, fire me, nigga." How you gonna fire me? You got that money on the squad. At least I'm here. If he do that shit, he'll do anything. Exactly, man. What the fuck are you talking about? What my brother did. <laughs> Got my brother here right now. You want that prime sponsorship or not, Ari? All right, shut your ass up. He gonna go right to Ari, just like everybody goes to Jerry Jones. And be like, "I ain't talking to fuck. I ain't talking to fucking Jason Garrett." Yo, Jerry. <laughs> you didn't tell this nigga to give me the ball. <laughs> yo, Ari, I'm tired of this nigga asking me that the fuck in this belt, all right? You say this is my belt now. That's what y'all told me. Hey, yo, Jerry. <laughs> hey, yo, Jerry. Yo, why does nigga oh, Jason Gary not give me the ball? 
Dez. Yeah, I need you to call Dez. Dez, I'll call you. <laughs> Dez, I'm sorry. I'll call you. I know Dez. I know you want your targets. I'm going to talk to Jason tomorrow, okay? Dez, I'm sorry. I'll call you. Is that funny? <laughs> that nigga Lee Daniels is fucking deep dash. Hey, hold on, hold on. I got one. I got one. I got one right here. Let me tell you, when I when I saw Cole Cabana back... <laughs> Yo, Cody, that ain't shit. Hey. I was like, yeah, what's up with you and Punk, man? You just say hello or right, nothing, dog. Nah, bro, you got right to it. You got right to it. <laughs> None of that shit was... Yeah. Hey man, oh, how you doing today? What's up with you a pup? Right, like, hey, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Hey man, punk called you a bitch. What you got to say about that? You want to come to my podcast and talk about it? Nigga, I got my own podcast. Oh yeah, that podcast that you sued you for. Yeah, you want to come to my yeah, podcast? Man, about like, you got yeah, the podcast that Conan's always messaging people. You watch my podcast? No, nigga, I don't. No, oh, man. I don't what else y'all want to talk about? I ain't got nothing else. What y'all got? Uh, uh, you know, one night, uh, I got, I, hello, you did it, I got, yo, <laughs> yeah, we've been, we saying that for the last three weeks, but, um, but yeah, there's two more things the bunny and AEW parted ways, and uh, Tony Khan said, yeah, yo, I know what you're saying. I, yes, yeah, they mutually parted ways. I wanted Some to say that because we, you know. This is something we had on the docket. Somebody talk about and, one of the uh, I forgot about that shit. Yeah, and, uh, Tony Khan tweeted that AEW has agreed to terms with one of the world's best wrestlers, a pro who is known and respected by virtually every AEW fan. They'll come to LA and sign their contract this Sunday on uh, pay- at the pay per view for full year. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, they just announced uh, AEW Japan. Nikota Ibushi is all elite. So I don't know. If- that was the announcement. <laughs> yeah, didn't he just break his hand? Bro, that better not be the Yeah, hey, he yeah, broke they, his hand. Kota Bushi said he broke he broke the back of his hand. Oh, uh, he he yeah. You feel me? He said he said, come on with it, powder. <laughs> yeah, right there, right here, both sides. Yeah, come man. on with it, Kenny. Put, put it on my hand, Kenny. Put it on my hand. <laughs> he I'm said, right now. And then Kota said, see, see, my family. I come from a long line of pimps. Yo, family, you come from a long line of assisted pimps. You feel me, Kenny? Like, y'all was assisted pimps. You feel me? Forever, though. Omegas is like, you feel me? Top tier you know, assisted pimping. That's you why your name is Omega, because I'm the alpha. Because <laughs> y'all ain't no alphas. Uh, I've been since alpha, since been since alpha, since been alphas. Man, man, man. Is, hey, is it is it Coda or is it... Uh, uh, or is it is it Mercedes? Mercedes just uh, put out that video the other day and was like, "Oh my God, I'm ready to get back. I uh, I will be wrestling for some company in 2024. Make sure y'all look out." She got the whole Snoop Dogg connection, Los Angeles. You feel me? They in Inglewood. Is she gonna show up to the forum? You feel me? Yo, that's. That that's 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 the per- that's just like a way of how uh, when a player wants to be traded, they just uh, scrub all the like, yeah, I'm a football player. Not that I, I play for this team. And New Japan mm-hmm. was like, she was like, I'm gonna go back to New Japan, and then she was like, Yeah, I'm gonna go back to New Japan. <laughs> like, uh, kind of good right now. She was like, Julia's going where? Damn, I can still go over there. Hunters, in, yeah, hunters in charge again. Like, I'm pretty sure I can go back over there and do what I want. Hey, I own both hey. names anyway. Me and Chris Jericho, uh, right? We're in line. I got a you. question. That's funny. <laughs> we are now entering the Mercedes Monet era. If she was to go back to WWE, do y'all think she would be Mercedes Monet or she would go back to being Sasha Banks? Oh, change her name like like Viscera? <laughs> like, I don't know if she's going to be Viscera, <laughs> but she's going to be. I think she can do both. You know what I'm saying? Nah, she definitely going back to Sasha Banks. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. Yeah, it's like, yo, this shit was this shit was a little uh when you get locked out of your account and you can't use mm-hmm. your old username, so you just yeah, like, like okay, I'll come up with some new shit. That's what this shit you was. Got, got a free 30 day trial that came with a belt, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you know I mean? let me get a free 30 day trial in this new Japan real quick. Alright, cool. Well, with that said, uh I ain't eating nothing all day. I'm finna go eat something. So hey. 
and hope y'all have fun with this shit. You know For real, free Draymond Green. <laughs> Yeah. Like free Reek, free Reek and Draymond Green. <laughs> and and why did you retweet that? <laughs> I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> nah, 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 you ain't nah. You wanna quote tweets there and show it's gonna be retweeted. I'm gonna put it on blast. I, you this program? Oh no, I'm about to do it right now. I said what I said, nigga. I said what I said, nigga. That hangman promo is anti-black, nigga. If y'all niggas oh, no, fuck that shit, oh, I, that I, I, bro, I, don't, I don't trust y'all niggas, bro. You feel me? I don't trust niggas, bro. I, I, that's just how I feel, bro. I was giving you a like. That counts, yeah. right? That's still support. Oh, yeah. I fucks with you, dog. You a real nigga. I appreciate you, bro. You feel me? Half-stepping on the support. You feel me? Real oh, nigga. man. You <laughs> were in last week. Hey man, hey <laughs> y'all want to? Hey, I can't even tell y'all this week. It's too we, we've been here too long. All right, so but the story behind why I was not on last week's episode is fucking hilarious. So uh, hey man, hey P three TV man, you feel me? Subscribe to P three TV. Three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. You feel me? We got invincible reviews over there. You feel me? We got yeah. program language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, y'all want to do that? Y'all want to do that? Okay, so listen, we'll do that and uh, on our way out, we'll we'll uh, close. With that. We'll definitely close with that. Actually, where is this little way. thing at? Yo, the question of the day is how yeah. can you not subscribe to our uh, Patreon? Yeah, hold on, my bad, boy. Give me, give me just a second. I'm finna, I'm finna get y'all right. One second, we got, we got something that we want y'all to do. We got something that we want y'all to do. Something that we want y'all to join us in on. Wow. So yeah, let's go. Ahead. I guess, I guess we can't leave. Yeah, talk and close it. So nigga, nigga, usually asking us questions, nigga. <laughs> My bad, blood. My bad, blood, nigga. Why is we looking at damage control? You feel me? It's some nice little saucy little pieces in there. You feel me? But I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. You feel me? Hey, hey, check this out. You remember? Remember a couple weeks ago when we was talking about? I asked y'all if if uh, how, how do you know if a girl likes you or if she likes you likes you? And y'all told me uh, keep her away from from my cousin. If I got a cousin that kind of looks something like me a little. So check this out. I had a conversation with my cousin last night, right? And I was like, hey, blood, did this bitch call you asking for information about me? And he said, yeah, bro, actually, she did. She called me and she was trying to have a little baby small talk, but it did kind of seem like she was just waiting to ask what the fuck is going on with you. Like, she been trying to call you or something like that and you ain't been answering or something like that. You feel me? <laughs> this girl been blowing up my phone for the last four or five days, right? Right? You feel me? At this point, she been blowing up my phone for the last four or five days, right? And I'm like, all right, cool, whatever, whatever, whatever. You feel me? And I'm talking to my cousin about it. And he like, yeah, da da da, da. She did call me a but about a way to say like okay, cool. I was like, oh, okay, well maybe I don't know really exactly, but I know like you feel me a couple of months ago we were supposed to uh we were supposed to kick it and then shit just kinda of fell off. And so I wasn't really tripping like that. You feel me? Like she cool, but I wasn't really tripping. And so this nigga said Oh yeah, cool. It's funny that you say that because she was just over here sucking dick the other day. And I said, yo, yo. I said, yo, but she been blowing up my phone, nigga. And she been over there being a gobbly gooker. She been over there gobbly gooking, nigga. I said, oh dog, I I can't wait to have this conversation with her just to be like, I know what you did. <laughs> you know you fucked up, right? Like, you know, gang told No, no, no. You didn't fuck up. Keep doing what you're doing. You can come over here and do some of that, too. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But I'm just saying, I know what you did. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you did, right? Yeah. So don't be trying to no, talk no, you to me. Don't you're going to drink out of the no, plastic cups be... you got to throw away. Hey. Not Arnie. Oh, my Listen, God. Listen, man, she... Listen, man, she was, I, I, I guess she out here serving ultimate, you feel me, to, to multiple parties, you feel me, it is what it yeah, is, you feel me, but hey, check this out. Strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, next strong, you feel me? <laughs> so, with that said, you feel me, she out here giving ultimate, you feel me, listen, listen, I want y'all to give y'all ultimate, not like that, right, but we got, <laughs> we got, we got so so it's not really question of the day, question of the week or whatever. But y'all got a fucking week. 
Y'all got a week to get this shit together. What's today? Today's the 15th, 16th, you feel me? As of recording, you feel me? And I'm talking about, oh, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's after nine on the West Coast, so it's the 16th, you feel me? Shout out to my cousin that I was just telling y'all about. Today's his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, happy birthday, Arnie. You <laughs> feel me? So, with that said, next week, we are going to uh, have a, a, a nice little conversation on, you feel me? Uh, me and the guys, we're going to put together our list, you feel me? But we want y'all to put together a list, you feel me? So if y'all fuck with the little question of the week shit, you feel me? Just going to go out on Twitter and all of that. But we want your ultimate Survivor Series fantasy team, right? I need multiple generations here. I need multiple eras, you feel me? I'm talking about you pick one performer, one wrestler from each generation, and you tell us what would be the ultimate, what is the best Survivor Series team that you can put together. So the golden era, the new generation, the attitude era, the PG era, this current era, I don't know what it's called. You feel me? But you got five choices. Golden era, new generation, attitude, PG, and whatever the fuck is happening right now. Five. You got five performers, man. You got five people to pick. I need y'all to send me your illness. You feel me? I need team names, nigga. I oh, need yeah. team names, like old school Survivor Series shit. You feel me? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. It is what it is. Hey. Happy birthday. You feel me? Happy birthday, you feel me? Salute, man. I hope it's an amazing day for you. You feel me? I hope it's better than yet last year, and I hope next year is even better than this year. You feel me? Exactly. Yeah. I'm already I'm already naming my team the Walters. So uh yeah. I'm, oh, so, yeah, I Vince that that name, what? Name. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you you listen. You be doing that? Listen, my baby, listen, listen, listen. My baby ain't gonna be giving out massages to, to Cameron and like just random rappers and shit like that. Starting only no, fans. Next girl. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. You feel me? But we need your Crap. ultimate Ow. Survivor Series fantasy team, nigga. You feel me? On this advertisement, you feel me? If you listening on Apple, Spotify, whatever the fuck, you feel me? I got Ricky Steamboat, Brett the Hitman Hart. The Rock, John Cena, and Roman Reigns on the team on the advertisement. That might be your team. That might be your team. That might be your team. That's not my team. You feel me? That might be your team. That's not my team. I'm just saying examples. You feel me? Of the golden era, new generation, attitude era, PG era, and the current era. Who's really the illest who would really be rocking? I want y'all to send it to us on Twitter. You feel me? At the enemies P3. Send it to us on Instagram. Hey. At the enemies P3. You feel me? Like I said, it's going to go out. You feel me? Y'all can hey. you send in y'all shit. We're going to pick the best ones. Ben, go ahead. What's that, what's that shit that, uh, that Shannon Sharp be saying in the commercials on this podcast? Who are the contenders and who are the pretenders? <laughs> <laughs> I like that shit. <laughs> I like that shit, man. Who are the contenders and who are the pretenders, man? Let's get it, man. Ultimate Survivor Series uh, uh, fantasy team picks. We need that. You feel me? Next week, when we come in here and we talk about that shit, we going live and direct with the best ones. You feel me? I'm not... What? We not finna read 13 niggas, 17 niggas just because y'all all submitted. Nigga, check this out. We appreciate y'all, but y'all got to come with that heat, though. You feel me? Y'all got to come with that heat, though. You feel me? Y'all talking about? And I, Dylon, I Dylon, 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 and Dylon. That's, that's, that's my team right there, just so you know. I'm going to get the graphic ready for next week. But, that's uh, a fire yeah. team. That's a fire team. I like it. I love it. You feel me? It got to be that way. You feel me? It got to be that way. Jizzle, uh, anything you want to say before we get the fuck up out of here, brother? Uh, I'm uh, free, free dribble on green. That's about it. <laughs> he choked his shit out that day. He ain't even do nothing. <laughs> For dinner, nothing. No. Yo, man, he but he but man, COVID, COVID. You know what I'm saying? He but the outbreak monkey. He's the, he's the outbreak monkey. <laughs> Well, like yo, man, then you you gonna you gonna get, get mad at him for doing the Lord's work? Hey, man, it's all the good. Oh man, man. that's why nobody likes Minnesota. Like, you think Minnesota's cool? Like, would you Call go on Minnesota, Minnesota for vacation? Josh Dobbs likes Minnesota. Yeah, Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I would too. 
Yeah, for sure. I feel you. I would too, nigga. I would too, nigga. I mean, I don't like Minnesota. I don't fuck, nigga. I'm sitting at third right now. I don't want to talk <laughs> about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Ben, anything you want to get to before we get the fuck up out of here, sir? No, nah, like, good, nigga, I'm I wanted good. to be asleep nah, 25 I'm minutes. No, nah, I'm good. I'm good. I took a nap for the show. I took a nap for the show. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, Since you took a nap for the show, let me ask you this. You know how, like, sometimes, like, uh, like, like, like we, like we all work, right? You know what I'm saying? Niggas be at work, you feel me? Like you be tired and shit, nigga. You get off work, you get that little extra boost of energy. Like you feel me? Like you clock out, you're like, damn, nigga, I thought I was tired. You feel me? I'm finna go bend the block. You feel me? Make a couple swerves. You feel me? I ain't even tired no more. You feel me? After we do this pod, do you have like a boost of energy or do you just be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, 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 I take my little setup down and I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for sure. Well, go to bed, nigga. Fuck it. <laughs> hey, man. Like and subscribe, man. Tap in at the enemies P3, all social media platforms. I go by the name, oh my God, Graham. You feel me? Beat me there. Don't meet me there. Make sure y'all remember, you feel me? December 7th, new date, new time. December 7th, Public Enemies Podcast is officially moving to Thursdays, Thursday afternoons, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. Make sure y'all beat us there. Don't meet us there. Like and subscribe. Come fuck with it. Pull up. You know what I'm saying? Join the conversation you on. You feel me? And that's damage control again. Because look at them. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. They will not be here on December 7th. But we will be. And we will be, uh, like the tagline says, I guess, uh, war ready. Uh, Yeah. Anyways, December 7th. Tap in. Yeah. Uh, So, with that said, the Waco Kid, tell them where to meet you. Tell them where to be. You find me on Twitter, Twitter Instagram, Instagram, TikTok, at Instagram. underscore Sutomars underscore. <laughs> hey, yo, <laughs> tap to the pa- Yo, it's okay. Yo, tap to the Patreon. Me and CJ, we reviewed the first two episodes of season two of Invincible. So y'all tap in, y'all listen to that. that like, we're going to be reviewing the whole season, uh, season two. And then after season two is over, we're going to go back and then we're going to review season one in its entirety. So y'all, y'all be on the lookout for that, man. We, we going week to week with it. Jizzle, you the champ. You feel me? You got the belt in your hand. You feel me? Do you, do you, do you retain this weekend? Do you lose this weekend? You feel me? And then tell them where to meet you. Tell them where to see I think you. I'm going to win every single time I do anything <laughs> in life. Oh, All right. Of course, and, and, and I think I'm going to win this time. And you can find me at Yet Ask Me everywhere, finally, except for on Instagram when they try to uh, make me sell um, a whole bunch of um, stocks and shit that one time on my birthday. PS5. Years ago. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo, man, you want a PS5? Stephanie McMahon was like, yeah, what, well, what? Well. I was like, all right, for sure. So um, yeah, I am the champ. Um, yeah, stay on the Patreon, you know what I'm saying? We got PE3 SPN coming. Might be something in the cooks, you know what I'm saying? Soon. Cause I gotta talk about Draymond Green choking this nigga. Like I got you, so, so so it's coming. It, it, Absolutely, we're the best podcast in the world. Gang, gang. Hey man, uh, patreoncom slash enemies Again, three dollars, five dollars, ten dollars. There are week uh, free trials over there. You feel me? I don't give a fuck how many email addresses y'all got. You feel me? If y'all want to check it out, try it out. You know what I'm saying? See what's going on over there. You know what I'm saying? And if you like it, you enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Stick around. Uh, but uh, with that said, hey, we'll be right back here next week, same place, same time, until December 7th. <laughs> until December 7th. But tap in with us next week, man. Next week, we got War Games, Survivor Series predictions. We'll be right back at it, live and direct, man. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all pull up, because uh, we'll be here. Other than that, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm out. Hey, yo, man, next week, you know what I'm saying? We're creating our ultimate horror games teams, too. You know what I'm saying? Tune in. Thick-ass Daphne is on that yo, list. Yo, yo, <laughs> All I ask is when you lay your head on that pill at night, you know, I gave you everything I had. You did. I gave you everything I had.